Good evening, people. Are we feeling horny today? Are we, are we in the mood to getting something done? I am. Well, who do we have here? I think I just missed a sub. Joshy Poo, thank you for subbing, dude. Thank you for the resub, Joshy Poo. And uh, look, there's Drag Queen. Hello. How are your holidays? Godzilla Master. What's up, dude? What are you doing for Christmas? Just gonna finish this cigarette and uh, relax for a minute, and then we can actually get some work done. I wanna do this, uh, I was working on this one little Christmas comic I'd like to have done. Hello, Na Naiwa. Happy Lolly Days. I should have said happy lolly days. I'm gonna do that next stream. Happy lo happy lolly days. Alice, hello. You gone, Alice? Could actually go go for some tea myself right about now. Alice of Milky Tea. Now, before I'm actually gonna get started, I'm gonna get myself a mug. A BRB. That's a good idea, Alice. Good suggestion. Look at that, just getting up. First minutes of the stream, already standing up. Unprofessional. So, also got some water going here. Vegetables, thanks for subbing, dude. Dark Princess, hello. Hello, bit game, dude. I bet that Christmas comic is about Santa punishing a bad child. You know what? It actually is. It's kind of about that. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Maybe not like you think. You know, I feel like they can't be too obvious. The comics can't be. Sometimes it's good to be obvious if it's like sexual or something. But I think sometimes it shouldn't be too obvious. Also, look, Alice, I got myself a, a cup here. Oh. Watch out. Check this out, Alice. P. P. This is the empty one. Where's the full one? I thought I had a full cup. This, I didn't even fucking put water in that one. Where's my full one? I'm an idiot. I swear to god, I thought I went, I was rushing and thought I gr grabbed the full cup, but this one is empty. Card game, thank you for subbing. Four months. Also look, let's make the, let's make the cup a bit more like it, uh, it's fitting to Alice. Like, she always has that thing. Look. Look. It's you! It's fucking you! This is your icon! <laughs> Drink out of the cup. Actually, the wrong direction. He always uses that face. Alright. Let's get some drawing done though, enough talking about I actually got- I actually want to finish this comic on the stream. I'll show you in a minute, Hispanic cold ass. A Blargan Fatty on- I can't read your name, Blargan Fatty o hip Thank you for the Christmas bits. Strange name. The Sketchify. Subbed for six months in a row. I appreciate that, dude. How long does it take you to do a drawing? Not a comic, just one or two characters that are background. Depends what style they are. If you're like in a really simplistic style, it can only take like an hour or two. 
But if it's like a, a complicated painted style, it can take like eight hours or more. It really depends what style you're doing it in, you know? Like if you are familiar with my work, I range from uh, various differences of styles. Like there's stuff like the, for example, the Helen Parr stuff takes a lot longer. And the simpler stuff of cartoonier characters would be much simpler to do. It's just, that's how simple it is. Hey, Sailor Bell. Alright, Sigurd is almost done. Where's my ashtray? Yeah, I'm not really uh, doing anything for Christmas. I don't really celebrate Christmas. I don't know about you guys. I never really celebrated it all that much. There's a cool thing about Christmas during school was you had like two weeks free from school. But now I don't go to school anymore, so like I do what I want regardless, so it's not really a thing anymore. Hey Zelf420, thank you for the sub. And hello Gator Chan. Am I norm uh, loud enough, by the way? I'm sitting pretty far away from the camera. I hope I'm loud enough. If you need me to speak up, let me know. Any tips for overcoming frustration with drawing? Well, we can get into that. Uh, hello, Rick. That's a bit of a... Hello, Rick. Yeah, I haven't streamed in a few days, I know. Yeah, um, Naiwa, it's often like that your family drag you into stuff, but by your own, you may not celebrate it. Or something I consider challenging to draw? By the way, glad you like my work, Dylan. I think a lot of things are challenging to draw, really. Like, anything. The female form is challenging to draw. That's a huge fucking challenge. Was that Cryburger? Did just Cryburger just sub? Niall, is that you? Niall, are you here? What are you doing here, dude? Niall, if, Niall, if you're here and you want to come on real quick and, and say hello, you're welcome to. I think people would love to hear you. Yeah, let's get Niall on real quick. Let's have a have a quick chat with Niall as I get into the drawing. You know, I, I kind of do this thing where before I start drawing, I just kind of smoke a cigarette and talk to the stream like that. We can kind of like I can kind of like catch up with people a little bit because I'm sure you know because you also stream art that oftentimes your attention is hard to divide, so you can like you like sometimes can't really concentrate on like certain questions and stuff. Hello, Raging Raptor X. Yes, it has been a while indeed. What, what kind of music you guys want for this stream? I was thinking some, uh, something more classic. Like uh, this. There, that's good. Let's get nylon real quick. My ashtray is a uh, Red Bull can. What do you think about that? My milky teacup. I should not draw with Copix markers on cups. That's not gonna come out. Shit, Mick is gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's not even my cup. My cup. <laughs> open up Discord real quick. No, no, I'm gonna give you a call now, just so you know. Just come on whenever. Wait, I can't hear you. Hold on, one second. I think I need to uh, fiddle with the settings a bit. Uh, what's that? Blah blah blah. Hello? Hello, Niall. Uh oh, 
Oh, I can hear you now. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I set up a new uh, profile on my computer for just streaming in case, like, you know, some guy shit comes down, like, people can see the browser history or something. So I set up a new thing, and I had to set up the mic and all that stuff. So, oh. so I couldn't hear you for, for one second. All right, yeah, you are a bit more quiet than usual. I know it oh, is. Oh, yeah, shit, my mic's over there. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, there you go. Me. There he is. Here's yeah. the big man. Yeah. There he is. The big man upstairs. It's me, Niall. Hey, what's N up, man? Niall, obviously, we're not going to talk about anything uh, anything bad here because I don't want anything bad to come out. But I, I hear you're uh, in, in L.A. now. Yeah, you were here correctly, my friend. Yeah, but uh, living in fucking, literally living in Hollywood. Niall, I heard you get, you got to see the Warner Brothers Tower of Amy Maniacs. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, man, your your sources, your good sources. Good uh, sources, directly yeah. from the source. What did literally you think? What, it, what did you think about that? Man, I just wanted dot or fucking dot. Yeah, I just wanted uh, to give her a little squeeze, but uh, couldn't find her anywhere. Uh, she is an animated cartoon. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to go in your lane here. I don't know. I don't know what. Hey, uh, your Chef. your lane. Yeah. Your I, lane. I your lane. Car cartoon. Sexy cartoon character. You should do dot though. You know that that's more like something Corey would have done back in the day. Yeah, I I, I was uh, I was kind of disgusted by uh, the 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 game Corey made. Um, I mean, it was very well made. It was just uh, when I saw Boo. With a spread fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, every time I see that character now, I just think of it. Like, it's, it's ruined. Corey has, um... He has quite the history in, in characters like that. I love him. He's a way He's a way of sexualizing, like... Even the least sexual... Like, he could fucking... Draw a sexy Gatorade bottle if he wanted to or something. Sorry, I was just looking at a Gatorade bottle. But he could think anything, uh... Add a pussy to it. No, Corey is not in the house. Corey is um, not even in LA. He's all the way back in Philly. But he, yeah, um, I think he's coming in February though. Mario Man, Mario Man. What do you? You said hello to Nile. Do you know Mario Man, Nile? I don't know who that is. Uh, but hey, Mario Man. <laughs> Mario Man is a a black man who um, does a lot of those Twitter videos, those Twitter response videos. Oh, yeah, is that the guy who did one to me the other day? Did he? Yeah, no, he did a really funny one, actually. I, I, I think it was him. It was, there was a black man who did a Twitter... Uh, like, I, I'm not trying to be racist, it's just... It ticks all the boxes here. It was just that black dude who did a, a Twitter response to the, the the tweet I made about Chris. I was saying, you know, everybody give a clap to Chris, because he's a good dude, and... Oh, uh, and he responded to that? I, let me see if that was him, because that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he should it be Mar so unexpected. Yeah, he's like real Mario Man or something on Twitter as well. I don't know, something like that. It is him. It Mario is, Man, yeah. <laughs> I'm not racist in any, any, anymore. I might have been racist if it was a different black guy, but... See, Mar um, Mario Man is one of those kind of guys who, even by his name, you can tell Mario Man, that is an autistic name. Mario Man 6444, that is autistic. But he, he uses, uh, he harnesses his autism and beams it out in a way that makes him, like charismatic and kind of funny. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some people are like that. Like, they have kind of charming autism. Yeah, he's like a, he's like the unknown. You know, like the guy, someone unknown? He has the uncharming <laughs> yeah. autism. He has the autism that makes you want to die. Like, he's... I like that guy, man. He was harmless. He was a harmless, he was a harmless, happy dude. Once he gave me $20, and then like a minute later, he goes, Can I have $20 to give that $20 to Corey? I was like, oh. Oh, oh, okay. oh it's not for me? Yeah. Why the fuck did he I mean, give Corey $20? I was a bit sketched out when he just threw twenty dollars in my face, but uh, then he then I, so it was it wasn't for me, so I didn't have to do any any sexual favors or anything for the. For the remember, remember that old guy at Pico Day? There was like this the old, oldest guy at Pico Day, who was oh, who wasn't oh, yeah, Lloyd yeah. Kaufman, like that old guy with like a ponytail. Yeah, like what does he do? Nothing. I remember him. I just saw him though. But I didn't know like he, he, he like Tom Phillips' grandpa or something. No, he's like one of the oldest members or something of Newgrounds. And he also just gave me like twenty dollars. Like, what the fuck? Like, like I don't like because I like I make stuff on your grounds. Like, dude, I don't need this. Like, I felt like really guilty because he probably needs some money more than I do. But it looks of him. How does it make you feel that there's an old man out there who's a huge fan of your work? I don't think he is. Yeah, I just I, I don't I really I doubt it. I should, I like he knows my work. But I doubt he's a huge fan. I think he's just like nice to me because I'm big on new grounds or something. You know, like, and he wants to like be good to the community. What a loser. <laughs> God. I imagine being 76 and just being like, 
looking up to some new grounds artists. Hey, uh, Don Satanic Bubblegum, thank you for the sub, dude. Thank you for the resub. That is nine months in a row. Did I? Sorry if I missed some subs. I was uh, enthralled by Lyle. I mean Nile. You call me that all the time. It's all good. Yeah, though. no, but uh, now actually the tables have turned. Now Nile is working above Lyle. Now Lyle is is Nile is Lyle's superior. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Nah, I'm just joking. He's your coworker. Uh, I'm your coworker. Yeah, we're the same here. We're one and the same. Uh, Lyle's better than me though. He's is he's he? Yeah, well, he's got years of experience under his belt. Uh, he's been he taught me a lot. I feel bad though because I've been. He always had to uh, when I started out. He always had to start uh, looking at my stuff just to make sure they're good enough to put on the channel. And uh, I was never, I was never done on time for him to, to take a look at it. So sorry, Lyle. But uh, yeah, him and Kyle, the other two guys that are editing Only Plays, they're like machines. Nile, like Lyle, and mix. Kyle, the the three Stooges, <laughs> the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Is that on purpose, or is that just a happy coincidence? I, I like, man, I don't know if it's a, a fetish of Chris's or something. I, it's, Nile, it's Kyle, and Lyle. That that's just so that is so good. That's like a, a like a comedy tri trio. Yeah, the three we, Musketeers. We, we, we. We try to make uh, boring, really boring videos to be uh, to be funny. No, but you, yeah, you like put like, and you all have like your own little editing style. Guys, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Niall is currently working as an animator for Oni Plays. Oh no, an editor. An editor. Uh, not, not an, what, did I say animator? An editor. An editor. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, Guys, for those who are wondering what I'm drawing right now, this is uh, Santa Claus and a uh, Is that the dude kid. from Lincoln Park who died? No, no, it's just a kid. It's just some child. And he's, uh, this is one of those, like, kind of shad-based comic thingies where it's just, like, one page, you know? Oh, I love those. They're my favorite things you do. I appreciate that. Some of them are really fucking stupid, but this one is very, um... What's the word when you say something goes with the current times? Like trending? No, no, no. Like the other word. Um, you know when you when you like make like a comment on something that's happening now, and it's not going to be relevant in maybe like a few years or something. Oh like, yeah. What, what, I know what you're talking what's about. What's that word, what... guys? What's that word? I know there's a word for it. I keep forgetting it. Uh, fad. No, no, no. There's like this this word. You know, like when like. When like Family Guy or something makes like a joke about like a current event, it's very topical. Topical is the word. Yes, thank you, Lion Cake. This one is very topical, so it only kind of like, it only kind of works. Like now is like the time to do it, and I hope, I sincerely hope that in a year this will be like nobody will get this. I like I sincerely hope in a year nobody will think this is still a thing because it is actually ridiculous. This is actually going on in places like Britain and stuff. But uh, people will see what I mean once I get it, get more further into the comic. I thought you meant just because it's Christmas. Uh, like in a month, it's not Christmas anymore, so no one will care. But no, the Christ the Christmas thing is kind of like a uh, an excuse. I'm also gonna make one with a uh, Frosty the Snowman for like Christmas, just because might as well. <laughs> I, I I I don't really celebrate Christmas, but I sometimes kind of like I might as well like since it's the time of the year, put some Christmas aesthetics into it. You do not celebrate Christmas. Oh, oh yeah. I'll, I'll. Okay, thank you very much. C can you tell her I can smell her fishy fanny from over here? Uh, I cannot chat. <laughs> um, that that's something that I cannot do uh, currently. Um, <laughs> for, yeah. That is so rude. If you said that, would they kick you out of the house? Uh, very likely. Yeah, yeah. Now, are you right now, like, very, like, humble? You have to be very humble and low pri profile to survive there? You know me. I'm always, uh... I, I, I know that you, like, always... You always have, like, an exit plan. That's that's what I know about you. Oh, yeah, man. If you don't have one of those, then you can get stuck. You, you always know? have, like, a plan B, a plan C, maybe, like, a, a plan D. Yeah, but they always kind of get worse and worse as they go down in the letters. But my plan, like, plan B... Uh, just gonna get a, you know, you know, Airbnb. Do you ever, uh, do you ever get one of those? Airbnb. What is an Airbnb? It's like an app on your phone, but like they make you send a picture of your passport, uh, so it's kind of <laughs> shady like that. But uh, they people put up uh, their houses on Airbnb, and you can just like 
get the room for a night or two and it's pretty oh, cheap. Oh, nice. Always, I love that something like that exists. It's like Uber for houses, like for yeah, staying much, over yeah, yeah. places. Actually, I would I would have an Uber for a dishwasher now. Like imagine if you could like open up an app, you can have someone come over to your place and do your dishes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe it exists for housekeeping. Slave me, the app. Is there Slave. is there an app for someone to just come over and just like like fuck your ass or something? Like is that a, is that legal? It's called Grinder. Is that yeah, what it, it is? But isn't that like yeah. dating? Like isn't that like disguised as dating? Uh, well, they call themselves dating apps like Tinder and Grinder, but, but it's technically just like I want to have sex now, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, remember, remember, I was doing uh, the Tinder thing on Sleepy Cabin. We got the Grinder app, and we we're just like seeing what it is, just for stories. Well, I wasn't actually going to go on any dates, Chad. Before you see. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know. You're, you're. Nile is a very straight man. He's one of the straighter men I know. I dare even say Nile is probably straighter than I am. I dare say that. Yeah, like I, I yeah well I, I'm straight I I'm not in any way yeah okay, but uh, <laughs> like I, I got the app and literally immediately like because it shows your location as far as I remember it shows like how far you are and it, it literally within s fucking seconds we were like hey man hey 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 like dick pics everything just just oh my throwing God. It, in my face. it was like seconds and like compare that to like tinder now where it's like you have to uh you know, wait for someone to match with you, and like it takes time, and the girls are all kind of scared because you're a scary stranger man. You feel like a creep when you're on there. I think there's a lot of like men who want to get romantically involved with a girl, but they sexually they just want to have sex with other men sometimes. I I would say that's like, because that's what it seems like. That's what it because they're not like you know they're not like gay in the stereotypical sense where they're like really like flamboyant and like want to like want to like go on a date or stuff. They just want to have sex and then be done with it. It's like so, yeah, it's so much easier too. You just go on that app and you just be like, I, right, uh, five minutes, you go over to the house, I imagine, and then they fuck you in the ass, and then you go home. And then you talk to your girlfriend <laughs> and lie to her until you go to, <laughs> you go to bed. You see, you see, like, you so, you're talking out of experience. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, plenty of experience. Uh, no, I, I didn't actually go on one, but I was thinking, because I was thinking of doing an IRL stream soon, I was thinking of actually doing going on one, not, not like that, like just an actual date. On one, just like I was just yeah. What's his name? A anything ideas. for views does that all the time. Oh, he does. Yeah, that's Damn what. It. That's the thing he does all the time. He's like uh, one of the more notorious IRL streamers on Twitch now since Ice Poseidon is gone, and he's like kind of the guy who, every time I check into his streams, he's always like hanging out with some Asian girl or something. Maybe he's really into Asians, but he seems to always date Asian girls. Uh, yeah, some people. I think that's kind of weird. Guys, you know what I'm talking about? Into one race. Like, I, I want to. I, I, I don't want to be like that. I'm like talking shit about him, but like, guys, this is real, right? Like, anybody else watched that guy and has observed him like doing that a lot? I'm not talking shit about him. I actually think his streams are good. I watch I, Ice Poseidon all the time. His community are a fucking. They hate him now. <laughs> they, they, they are fucking adamantly like against him. It's it's like pretty funny to watch. It's almost like his, 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 his community wants him dead sometimes, it seems like, with some of the shit they pull. I know. It's not like not his entire community. community, but, like, all it takes is a few, right? And a few organized right, yeah. ones. It's just cancer. It's just, can it's just like, yeah. Pepe faces and, like, m memes and... But but now what uh, you uh, what have you been streaming like just video games and stuff lately or have you been streaming anything no, I, at all? I actually I I haven't streamed since I got to LA until yesterday and I did an IRL stream but it was just like uh, like you're like you were doing before. Uh, oh, just talk. Drawing. Yeah, yeah. That's like a right. That's like a cop out calling it an IRL stream almost. You just have to label it that because there's no other label for it. Yeah, you get, you'll get banned. It's not yeah. an IRL stream. Yeah, well, I don't but, even know what but to call it. But I would only I, I think a real IRL stream is if you actually like go outside, like, right? Like, or do something. I don't even consider those were, like, cam girls. Like, they play with hula hoops and play ocarinas. Like, that's not IRL, dude. Yeah, and they fucking... That's just you doing something because you like, just you can't do anything. Like, you're just trying to do something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm drawing. I'm not drawing because I'm trying to entertain people. I'm drawing because this is my job. Like, I want to have this done and post it so people can enjoy it online. It's my job. 
but the streams are just a bonus to like interact with people. Imagine if the streams are your meanings, are your job, like the streams are your content, and you're fucking playing ocarina and doing squats. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but people yeah, they all wear the eat that shit up. Like, yeah, um, I saw a video today of like some guy just bought some girl streamer like an iPhone X, like a thousand two hundred dollars, and she just opened it. She's like, hey, thank you. That is. That is. I'm gonna turn Nile up a bit. I keep saying Lyle. You know, I think I keep saying Lyle because it's easier to say. It is. It's kind of like when they, like that's what babies call me like when they first start talking. Yeah, exactly. Because it's easy to say because there's nothing but L's. Lyle with Nile, you have to do like that extra gymnastic of doing an N and then two L's. With Lyle, it just rolls off your tongue. No, Nile is like a, you have to like, to yeah, you have a bit of a, you have to do some tongue gymnastics to say it. But uh, in your native tongue, don't you speak uh, with, uh, with rolled oars and... Oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course, but at the same time, it's still like some things are easier to say than others. That is true. Um, Nile, uh, are, aren't you in Ireland? Like, aren't you going to Ireland or something? I thought you were in Ireland by now. No, we're going to Ireland in the morning. In the Chris morning. Yeah, Chris was, yeah. was talking to me about like playing GTA 5 online. Are you guys Today? doing? Yeah, he was, he was like he was asking how to install, but like, uh, is that like the new game now? Is that the new game? No, I, I haven't I haven't heard from it. I think Chris is maybe just, he's just uh, testing something. Yeah, the new update probably. Hey, Chrissy, Chris, thanks for subbing, dude. Good to see you. Thanks for subbing, Chrissy, Chris. Yeah, guys, if you have like any questions or something for Nyla, want to like tell Nyla anything, like feel free to like just say stuff in the chat. I'm still looking at the chat. I'm just not really interacting all that much because I'm talking to Nyla. But I'm still yeah, I can't reading do that it. either. I'm still uh, reading it. I had, I did uh, in my stream yesterday. I was like chatting to this chat the whole time, and then um, Nick. You, do you know Nick? Uh, remind me who's Nick again? Wh uh, Nick Wolfhard, I don't, a voice actor. I don't think I know that one. Yeah, well, he he came on my stream, and uh, I just like completely ignored the chat, so I feel bad about that. Someone said my voice is awesome. I think it's pretty. Um, yeah, no, Nile is a good voice. He, uh, for those who don't know, he's actually his voice uh, made him have a part in a podcast at some point. That's where a lot of people know him from, called Sleepy Cabin. Yeah, Sleepy Cabin put me on the map. Do you know how that happened? One day, uh, I was just sitting in the office, like, fucking crying and doing commissions. And then, like, uh, Stamper was like, no, do you want to go on the podcast? And I was like, all right. And then, like, I don't know, even know how I became a member of that. I just... Uh, you were, like, helping out? At first, you are just editing, right? I was helping them out with the website, actually. I think oh, I you were? Some dude, that, that yeah, website, yeah. dude, at first it was really cool. And then, like, what the fuck happened? Like, he just, like, let it die. And then Mick had to try to, like, rebuild it all. Like, what the fuck? Uh, he quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, so, I know. Yeah. It's he, just, he had no obligation it's so to fucking, the No, but at the same time, you should, like, give it to someone. Not just let it die. He, like, literally let it die. And they lost everything. They lost everything? Yeah, Mick, had, uh, Mick had to completely redo it. Wait, he built it from the ground up? He built it up again, yes. Wow. I remember him doing that. Fantastic Dude, job, Mick then. is so <laughs> dedicated. Like, Mick, he saved uh, Sleepy Cabin so many times. Um, yeah, dude, yeah, he, like, <laughs> he was kind of like the father figure of Sleepy Cabin. Because everyone else would just kind of let stuff go to shit. And then, like, yeah. Mick would save the day. He's dude. a very, uh, <laughs> what's the word? He's, what's the word? Um... Shit, I can't remember any words today. Uh, okay, Tinder updates people are asking me for. Uh, I got the app again recently. I'm recently single. No, I'm just kidding. It's not because of that. It was actually because <laughs> we were doing, we we're going to do the podcast, uh, and um, I was just looking for more. Honestly, guys, honestly, imagine this. Just like I want you to like just imagine, if you will, close your eyes and imagine Niall doing Tinder dates. And then d streaming the entire thing with IRL on his phone. Isn't that something it. you'd want to watch? Isn't that something worth watching? I mean, Dude, it'll be so awkward. as cool as uh, anything for views is, I'd rather watch Nile to be honest. Like, Nile is like the OG Tinder guy. Is he, is he known as a Tinder guy now? I don't know if he's known as that, but it's just every time I see him do that a lot. Hey, ErraFoss13, thanks for subbing. I, I, I don't know if he, he's known as that, but... Uh, he just does it. Like, it's just one of... I noticed, like, oh, like, that's a thing people do at IRL streams. To, like, try to get something interesting going. <laughs> I still have my old uh, profile. Uh, I'm looking at it. My old uh, bio on there. Uh, God, it's cringy now. Uh, it says, <clears throat> Fresh off the boat from Ireland. 
I thought I'd check this. America plays out. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh. To, uh, <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, there are tons of girls on here that look exactly the same. I'm not even complaining. I just want to know if the same thing is going on in reverse. Like, is this weird carbon copy human thing going on on your end? I need to know. I'm rich, buff, and I always smell clean. Not like bleach. And I have a huge, constantly throbbing, pink long heart. And that's what. That's. That, oh that my god. My, uh, bio circa 20. It's, it's like Nico Bellich from fucking Reddit. Like if Nico Bellich <laughs> was a Redditor or something, perhaps <laughs> here things will be different. Then he adds a few <laughs> jokes about like carby copying <laughs> humans and. Like what? Are well, you... see, the thing is. I, I Okay, I was a piece of shit back. But my logic back then was like, you kind of separate. Like, it, it makes them think that they're all different. They all come along and they're like, hey, hey, yeah, and I like all the other girls. You're like, no, not at all. Uh, but let's see. By the way, so, uh, Alice, uh, Alice, Alice here just asked, when are you going to plan to seeing Nikki and Lyle again? Lyle is actually my neighbor, and Nikki comes to town every now and then. So I've seen both recently. Cheers. Sorry, just thought I'd... Is L does Lyle live near you? Very near, yes, yes. Yeah, because I think he has an apartment opening up, uh, like, right next to him. And I was thinking about oh, jumping on that. Yeah, show. you should jump on. How much do they go for, like, monthly? Maybe, like, a thousand or something. I, it's it's really I, I can cheap, honestly, around here. I can actually do it now. Yeah, like, before, there was no way in hell I could ever afford a thousand rent until, like... Now you got a job, like, yeah. Yeah, and then the, the stream is good supplement supplementary income. Yeah, dude. Uh, but I'll never have the stream as my number one thing. Well, I might, I might, you know, work but towards always, it or something. You know, like I don't know. Like it shouldn't be the goal, but maybe it'll, it'll turn into yeah. something. Like my goal isn't to be a streamer or anything. I don't, I don't really have a goal. I just want to be able to make ends meet, be happy, be around friends, and you know, kind of make things. That's Absolutely, about it. yeah. I'm sure like one of the frustrating parts about being an editor is that you don't have as much time to like try to come up with your own things anymore. Uh, well. Yeah, but you know, I actually get like a, like this sounds gay, but I've got I get like a little bit creatively fulfilled from doing it because like I I like the the jokes that I add to it or something. I try to like I try to make them funny. Like it, I don't know, it's pretty it's pretty fun to do. It's not just boring like editing work. It's like yeah, it's, no, that's good. That's very good to hear. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's never like a waste of time kind of thing, or like I just feel like a, it's a drag. Um, it's actually fun to edit, and plus, you know, they're my friends. I like helping them out. Of course, like, yeah, he helped you out a lot. Now you're helping him out. He has, yeah, he, he really did help me out a lot. That's great. I mean, this is kind of a symbiotic thing because, like, I'm helping him out, but he's also paying me. So <laughs> that's how jobs are supposed to be, right? <laughs> they're supposed to be symbiotic. <laughs> yeah, but I like uh, working from home and stuff. That was like my goal ever since I was like a fucking kid. And Someone is asking, is not does Nile play Overwatch? Are you an Overwatch streamer? No, I don't play Overwatch. He does not play uh, Overwatch. Oh my god, the cats are raping each other, hold on. They're hey! They're fucking each other? Yeah, one of them rapes, like, there's one of the cats is like a little, uh, he's, he's the most effeminate, uh, male cat. He's the, obviously the bottom bitch, and yeah, the other one just, like, looks good. <laughs> Oh, but he's fighting back pretty well. Like, he has a little bell on his collar and stuff. Hey. Hey, come here, Juniper. So, Niall, do you feel sad about the passing of your gray cat, Django? Yeah, I know. He wasn't a very uh, interesting-looking cat to look at, but uh, he was a good cat, you know? He... I feel like I feel like Django... For those who don't know, my cat Django just died. It happened really fast in, in like... It happened over... In the course of 24 hours, it was, like... Fine, healthy to dead. At least he didn't and, suffer, uh, right? And just died. Well, he was in this like weird like glass cage, like <laughs> I, like I don't know, giving him oxygen or something, and he had like blood all just all over the blankets. He, he looked like he was really suffering. So I mean, at least he didn't he suffer for too long then. No, he didn't. But what was weird was uh, once we made the decision, uh, it was a tough decision to make. But uh, what it was a little easier when we saw that he was <laughs> that he was just his, fucked. Uh, he was fucked, dude. What would you do if you found out that the veterinarian fucked him up like that just to make the decision easier to put him down? I was thinking that because uh, when we made the decision, we had to sit in this like quiet little uh, vet room for a while until they brought him in. He said, like, and, put, like, put some blood on the blanket and stuff. Make it look like he's bleeding. Just so they... <laughs> yeah, they brought him in and, and 
he he was a little bit out of it at first, but then like he kind of looked me in the eye and he seriously just became normal again. And this is after we already made the decision to put him down. So it was like, uh oh, is he okay? Like, is he actually okay? Are we just killing a healthy cat? But uh, then like not long later, he just went, eh, he just kind of collapsed again. So it was nice to have, you know, the last moments of him, you know, acting like himself. But uh, then she injected the, the, the milk into his arm. It looked like milk and uh, he died. All right, that's uh, very grim. You probably remember that we used to take care of him for a, for a few months at, back yeah, in Philly. Yeah. Thanks for that. Um, you know, he was a bastard. But do a you have attachments oh. to animals at all? Or I, you... I like animals. I like animals a lot, but I'm very aware that, like, you know, like, it, it's like one of those things where I don't, I, it's kind of like liking, like, a, how can you kind compare this? Human. No, no, it's not a retarded human. But, like, even with, 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 like, humans, like, with humans and animals, like, I like them a lot, but at the same time, I know that they're gonna die. Especially animals, I know that they're gonna die a lot sooner. So when I see an animal, I know it's a stupid animal. Like no, like no, and I don't mean this in a mean way. It's a, it's a stupid animal. Like he doesn't know anything. Oh, yeah. He's dumb, and he's gonna they're die dumb. very very soon compared to me and humans. And so I'm just I never grow like yeah. too attached to him. And when I was a kid, I used to be like when I was like a little kid and had my like cat and like I had dog and stuff I used to like love them so much because I would like hang out with them so much and and, and the thought of them dying was like the scariest thing but as I grew older you just kind of come to accept it as they die it's so it's kind of a thing but that you know, ever, ever since those cats kind of died I can't really get myself to truly care for any other animals well, like, you could say the same thing about humans. Yeah. They all die. Yeah. That's why I get attached. It's true. That's why, um, like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, even with, like, family members and stuff, if they die, I'd be like, that is, that sucks. But I wouldn't lose much sleep over it. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I'd be crushed if my family members died, if any of them did. But there's really, there's, so, there's just some things happen that, like, just make me not care as much anymore yeah that you have you, you have different history like my family you know they don't understand what i'm doing but like they try to be supportive they have no idea what the fuck i'm doing in, in america like i can't explain it they're old they wanted me to be like a bank teller or something a bank teller sweet dude it's the exact opposite of like what i have but, um, by the way, people in the chat, it's not like a thing where I'm saying I don't care. That's not what I said. I'm just saying that I know how to get over it and, like, I know how things are. So why even get worked up about it? That's the thing. I loved my grandparents, but when they died, I was like, well, they were old, so... Yeah, exactly. Like, my grandparents, yeah. One of them is still alive, and I, uh... I kind of think, like... If they die, I don't want to go to their funeral. Like my, my thought is literally, if they die, it's gonna suck if I'm gonna to have to go to their funeral. Like that's literally my thought right now. I know it sounds fucked up, but that's like what I think. <laughs> yeah, well, funerals do suck, so I don't think it's <laughs> fucked up, man. Like, go to anyone's funeral. Uh, I'd be like, that would suck to have to go all the way back to Switzerland just for a fucking funeral. That would fucking <laughs> blow, dude. Yeah, but still though, like, like I feel like that's fair because like funerals are shit by nature. Like they're terrible. No one enjoys a funeral unless it's like fucking like Saddam Hussein or something. You don't didn't like Saddam Hussein? I don't really know much about him. I know he was a fucking asshole though. Yeah, he was like a war criminal. Yeah. Did you see the video of uh... the, the guy drinking the cyanide? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that what you're talking you about? No. It was a video of him coming to power, and uh, he sits on this panel in front of a load of people, like all of these like political leaders. And he, this is when he came to power, and like uh, one of the dudes come up and he, they go, uh, uh, the new president is now Saddam Hussein. And then uh, people in the audience are kind of horrified, and then he goes, then they started picking out people from the crowd, political leaders, uh, just randomly. They just, they're just like Muhammad Abdul, and then they pick like this dude, bring him outside, shoot him in the fucking head, and they just kept doing that. Oh and my god, the is there an entire video of that on YouTube? Dude, yeah, yeah, it doesn't show them hit, Oh, uh, that's show, them oh, the it head, it show them calling him out? out. Yeah, and then the more people they picked out, everyone in the crowd didn't know if they were going to be next. So that's, they were like all some, like, that's like some Hitler shit, dude. 
Dude, yeah, he was a fucking cunt. Yeah, but they, they're all clapping Did you see as the more people that got cut out because they want to be like on his team. They were like, yeah, oh shit, that's my brother or something. But, he didn't uh, want to be like sucking up to him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude, exactly. yeah, kill him, kill him. Yes, I'm on your side. In fairness, he looked like a badass in that video. He was just sitting there smoking a cigar, just not giving a fuck. He was just like looking at them and being like, did you see out. the speaking of badass? Did you see the video of Saddam Hussein in the court when they were no. condemning him to death? He, oh, I did. I think I saw that. Yeah. He sits by himself and he reads the statement and like loosely translated it was. I, like Saddam Hussein, he sp talks to himself like in a third person, and he says Saddam Hussein is such a god and such a superior man that the only person worthy of being his like lawyer representing him is Saddam Hussein. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what a bad mistake. Like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, you, you're about to die. It didn't work. It didn't work, dude. <laughs> he like, oh, fuck. It's like something out of a comedy or something. Like, he's so full of himself. That's what I'm saying. He's he's a cool ass super villain if he was from a movie, but the fact that he's real, he's just an asshole. He's like, just a on. bad, terrible person. Yeah, who a megalomaniac is what we call it. I thought that was a dude who steals. Oh, is that that's, that's a power that's movie. a kleptomaniac? Is a dude who steals. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, megalomaniacs are like people like Hitler and stuff who get the power and go completely crazy. Because like, for if you take like a few steps back and look at Hitler. He seems insane, like he seems insane, but I bet to him it all made sense somehow. But just for the outside person, it looks insane. But at the last time, time I was in, sorry, yeah. Last time I was in an Airbnb, um, cause I have to do that now. Uh, fucking, I was watching Hitler documentaries on Netflix and I thought I had the entire building to myself. It turns out it was a shared building. I was in the building with some dude. I was like blasting Hitler documentaries all day in my private room. I was just like, oh, that's right. Like he was here, like an all, Full speeches and like just fucking. <laughs> Did people like narration. call you out? <laughs> no, no, but it was a black guy and he was just like, uh, oh, can you keep the TV down? <laughs> like, oh shit. Megalomaniac. <laughs> but apparently, like, he got his start by like, he, he was in, he was obviously in World War One, but uh, he, he went to this pub and he was like screaming and yelling and people actually found it entertaining. He was almost like, uh, people went to see Hitler like, you know, talk at a pub. He was like a streamer, he was a streamer. He was the number Pretty one much. streamer on Twitch back in the day. People just like showed up to him, like just to watch him like talk about shit. Dude, what if the next street or it, the next Hitler was a streamer? What, what if happen? what if the next president of the United States is a streamer? Like with like pink hair and shit. <laughs> Why do they all have pink hair? I think it's like a Twitch thing, like the purple hair or something. Even like Ice Poseidon had like pink hair for a while, didn't he? Yeah, it's so gay. So it, gay. it is really fucking gay. It's it's like I'm not like I'm not saying they are gay. I'm just saying it looks really bad. It looks really guys. I'm not saying they're gay either. Yeah. Guys, do you think the pink terrible. hair thing looks good? Like the pink, a little bit of pink hair to the side. It looks fucking awful. Even if like a hot girl had that, I'd be like, you actually look ridiculous. You look like a clown. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those unnatural, like, you know, colors. I mean, if they have a bit of it, like a few streaks in it, that's, that's pretty it, good. Yeah, it but... can go, like, it, it can be used interesting, but I don't overdo it. And hey, uh, Bronxton, how you doing, dude? Yeah, it's a big Let's Player thing, too. I think they want to look flamboyant and eye-catching for, like, children. You know, like, kind of like, like, like clowns wear a lot of makeup and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why do I? Why? I why say, isn't like, there a streamer who's literally a clown yet? Why doesn't that exist yet? Colossal is crazy. No, but he's not literally a clown. You oh, know, this, this, like who is literally a clown who comes on camera and is a fucking clown playing video games. Why doesn't that exist play, yet? Play PUBG. Yeah, yeah, dude, can't you see that being a real thing nowadays? Yeah. People do anything for attention. All right, dude. Yeah, people do anything for attention nowadays. Sorry, I was just grabbing another pizza. All right, guys, I, I'm I'm getting into this comic here. I'm right now in the middle panel. There's uh, two more panels to go after this, then we can start coloring. But, uh, did you reveal the plot of the, the comic yet, or is that? I'm, I'm still kind of like working slowly on it. I actually do this thing where I see this gray, I overpaint the, the panels, so I draw one after each other. So kind of like it's like the theatrics of people seeing something new gradually rather than just showing the whole thing and then work on it. You know what I mean? Oh, that's genius. That's, that's brilliant. So, so you, you reveal. You do and and reveal the cool thing that. about that is if you do a comic that has like really fucked up panels, you could just never reveal those. You know what I mean? 
and still draw it on Twitch. That is such a good idea. I like the pen on uh, Sai. The pen? Like the, the stabilizer pen thing? Yeah. It actually looks really nice. Looks better than the Manga Studio one. I used Manga Studio for a bit, and I went back to Sai immediately. I just much prefer the feel of it. Because what Manga Studio basically is, is it has a lot more like functions and stuff, but if you use Sai in tandem with Photoshop, you can still do everything that Manga Studio could do. I kind of just use Photoshop now. Photoshop can I do slowly... everything, but Photoshop, the issue is, I don't like the pen feel of it, and the pen feel is so much. I have a, I have like a good pen set I could give you. Like a really good, like thick and thin and like what, what, what version of Photoshop do you use? CS6. That's an old version, you gotta hold on to that, dude. Is that an old version? Yes. Yeah, I thought that was the newest version. Isn't what's the newest version? Creative Suite. Or something. No, oh. no, no it, guys, what's the newest version called? It's like Adobe Creative Suite or something? It's not even called Photoshop anymore? No, no, uh, Photoshop something, something. Uh, but it's not like a CS anymore, if I'm... Does CS not stand for Creative Suite? Yes, it, do it does, it does. You're right, fuck. Guys, what is it called? It has like this bullshit new name. CC, yeah, something, yeah. Photoshop CC, that's what it is. Photoshop oh, CC, right. yeah, yeah, I remember which is like, that, yeah. what the exactly. fuck? Yeah, that's why I was getting it confused. It's not Creative Suite, it's Creative Cloud. Yeah, got it confused. I started what working with Photoshop it? since uh, CS3. And so, uh, <laughs> I think right now I'm, I'm using CS6 or something as well. But yeah, what were you saying? I've got a legal version. I've got an actual registered version. Me too, dude. You think I pirate that really? shit? No? <laughs> no, I mean, yes? Actually, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I pirate, I used I used to pirate everything, but now that uh, I'm like an adult, I feel like I probably should start buying my shit. Like I pirated everything up until I was like 23. Then I started feeling kind of bad about it. Dude, back then wasn't like Photoshop like a few hundred bucks or something? Dude, it was a few thousand bucks. I think. A few thousand even? Hey, how how are you gonna yeah. afford that shit? But now, now I think they make you pay monthly with the new one, which I think um, it, is a is a it's weird, but it's a better deal than like putting a bunch of hundred bucks at once. I mean, if you do it for a living, you can dish out a few monthly bucks to to use it, right? A few hundred a month? No, 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 no. A few a few bucks a month. I don't know how much it's like, guys. How much is it? Like fifty bucks a month or something? Oh, I don't actually pay for it. I didn't buy mine. Um, I mean the new ones. I mean like CC. I got mine uh, because uh, I know a guy who works in a college and he was able to get me a key. Because nice. that's why they charge so much for these programs is like, because they know colleges are going to buy like 5,000 copies of them, so they make a shit ton of money. Yeah, don't you get it like for free in college or something? Like they give it to the students for free? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't have to pay for all I wouldn't know, like, but yeah. It's privilege. Are you you're privileged? If you were to go back to college, what would you study, Shad? If I were to go to college, what would I study? Yeah. I would study the asses of those college girls. In, <laughs> Dude, the the, the, the college, legal ones. The college, yeah, well, they, you know, they're 18. I would, that would be my, my primary study. Dude, the college that I went to growing up just had the hottest like, it was disgusting. <laughs> it was just like, you just walk around and they're just everywhere. Just everywhere. I, I, like I wouldn't even learn anything. I, I wouldn't even want to learn anything. <laughs> it was it was really hard. Like you'd sit in the library and some sexy honey would come over and sit right next to you. No, you would be like that. What the fuck was that? <laughs> My girl voice. What the fuck was that? Do that again. Can I borrow your fucking pen? Hmm. He sounds like a transvestite. Fuck me. Hey, Lexi. Fuck me. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I majored in astronomics. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> Anyways, Eddie, hey, you're a bad man now. I'm a bad man. Yeah, I know. Can't help it. I'm, I'm just a human. Uh, the death of Shadbase. Someone says. The death of Shadbase. But. <laughs> Um, 
Hey, Mr. Entai, thanks for subbing. That's 23 months. Look at this man sub 23 months in a row. Holy fuck, how much did that cost? There's one more month for that two year sub badge. I didn't actually have to pay for uh, the sub that I did. I, I have Twitch Prime. I do that a lot too. If, I, if it's like streamers I, I like, who are my friends, I sometimes just go into their stream and give them my free sub per month. Because you get a new one every month. You might as well give it to someone because they actually get money out of it, right? Wait, so you get... Oh, they do? Yeah, okay, so you, you, get... you just gave me money with that. Awesome. Yeah, like I was going to... I didn't know that I could... Sub, I was gonna sub to you for money, but it's actually like so it's actually just as much as a normal sub. Really? Uh, so like, are Twitch like losing money from that? I, in theory, it would you would think, but something seems to be working because they they. Oh, no, dude, they make so much money anyway. Yeah, they got it's something, fun. but I think it's great. I think that's one of the things I gotta say. Like, like when people say like, oh, ever since Amazon uh, bought Twitch, they suck. I'm like, no. What are you talking about? They made it better. I didn't notice anything worse about it at all. No, now there's like uh, all these new functions too. I don't know, have you ever seen, like you can actually now do like a slash, type in raid, and then type in the username if you're on a raid. Then what will happen is your chat will turn into their chat and you will auto host them. So you'll like immediately turn your stream into someone else's stream to bring your viewers over to their stream. Like that is like such a good function to help like people out and stuff, to help people grow and stuff. Oh yeah, that's really good. They definitely do seem to know their audience. I actually like Twitch a lot of the platform. A lot of people hate it. Donkey made that video about it, about the titty streamer, and that is a problem. Like, or not Donkey? What's what's the name? Critical. Critical. Um, yeah. What's up, guys? It's Critical. That guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but like, yeah, he had very good points and all. Like, it's all. I I, I like, agree. I think. From that. But see, it's, I think it's the people who make it look bad sometimes. But the platform in itself is not bad. The problem is that the platform is exploitable. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Like, it has all these systems in play which are beneficial, but people exploit them. Like yeah, a good example also, is like squats for subs and stuff. That is an exploit. That is like you doing like kind of a sexual service to get money. That is an exploit. But are you actually allowed to do that? Apparently not, but some people seem to get away with it. It probably depends on just like how high up you are. Like that's that's one of the things people don't like yeah. about Twitch. Is that I like, heard they're like banning people. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it, but I heard they're banning people that uh, you know talk shit about the thing that happened with uh, Doctor Disrespect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dead Man Infinite, by the way. Thanks for the sub, dude. Uh, the thing with Dr. Disrespect is a very strange case because here you have one of the, the biggest up-and-coming gamers of the platform and then he hits like everyone with a bomb like that. Why did he do that though? Yeah, that's like, what I that's what I was like, I was trying to wrap my head around. It's like, why, like, like first of all, you can tell him, but why tell him like that? And yeah, like, you just create Why Why do you cr drama. cry on you camera? You know, no, uh, Especially, like, he would be the last guy who would have expected to see crying on camera. Me Out too. of all I the fucking pussy it. gamers. All the pussy cuck gamers I've seen. Pink-haired fucking... Yeah, I, it's like, yeah, Bashiverse would cry. I could see him crying, then he does. You know, like that? But then you see Dr. Disrespect, and you're like, Whoa, what the fuck? This is actually real? Dude, by the way, speaking of guys crying, remember Andy Berger? Oh, dude, I love Burger Randy. <laughs> dude, I'm obsessed with Burger Randy. I've been watching, I always watch it. Oh, man. oh my <laughs> god. Do you see the video of him not being allowed on the bus? Yes, yes. Did you see the video of him <laughs> getting, like so getting chased down the streets? Help! Help! Like a few people like trying to beat him up. <laughs> it's, he's, he's like so pathetic, but at the same time, you know he has like an ulterior motive to everything. He's conniving, so you can't feel bad for him. That's the thing. He's like an DSP. asshole. It's like, yeah, he's like this. It's, it's literally he's the DSP of IRL IRL streamers. That's a that's literally the best is. thing to, to call it. But him. he's he, he like the the video of him not being allowed on the bus was just so comedically perfect. Yeah, like, the way his reflection. The way his reflection like, you know, just, just got showed revealed. that his small <laughs> fat man holding an iPhone, guys, weird, but... with the chat on his iPhone scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. It was kind of, did you see his like super villain laugh when uh because him and dr disrespect had the beef yeah so yes. like yeah yeah and he was just like ah, 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 it's ah, so ah. cringe it, everyone's just like this is the worst timeline and i like how he walk he walks away and he's like filming himself he's like in, in the middle of the night in a town he's like i just don't have any friends and nobody likes me 
But it's, it's so fake. It's so fake that he's crying. <laughs> and people in the chat are like calling him out and it's fake and stuff. He just keeps going on. Oh, man. Yeah, well, the, I mean, it's, it's entertaining just to watch how pathetic he is. Like, I, I thought that IRL streams were the worst idea ever. And I was like, who the fuck in their right mind would watch him? But I, I <laughs> turns out I watch him. It's, I watch him sometimes. I think IRL streams are just like they're an interesting kind of product of our time where like people everybody wants to be a celebrity and everybody wants to like be something online and IRL streams make everything possible to stream like except for like sexual stuff but they make you be able to broadcast so much of your life so people make their lives revolve around it and it just it just becomes like this strange freak show but that's the thing is like if I do it I don't want it to be a freak show like I don't I don't I don't want to be just going up to people and being an asshole in the street to them. I want to be like nice to people, or like, you know, just nice up, just normal. Yeah, but I think like in your case, it would just be like something you do for fun and not something you try to like get your rent out of, desperately. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, that definitely, definitely, I know I'd go down a bad place like that ends up being the case. I definitely don't want that to be my, uh, my thing. Who are these people talking to Shad? It's actually just one person, it's Niall. For those who don't know, like Cryburger, Niall, he's like a, he's a streamer and uh... Oh look at Jameski, what are you drawing, Shad? Jameski, I'm drawing a comic uh, for Shadbase, like one of those little, uh, or like a Twitter comic. I'll also post it on Twitter. This one will be posted on Twitter. This a little comic about, um, about things. But, uh, I'm really glad you're doing these again, these comics. Dude, something happened where, um, I, I was like... I think we was talking to you about this at some point, that I was like kind of bored of like trying to like push like porn on everything. Like that I kind of wanted to do something else. So again, like focus more on other things. Like besides the sexual stuff. I could kind stuff. of tell, you know. I could kind of tell, because I know you do actually like doing the, the yeah, sexual Yeah, but sometimes like, you need you know, like a, a, you need like, you need diversity, you know? Like that's a bad word nowadays. <laughs> no, but I know what you mean. Um... Well, yeah, like, I, I genuinely lo love your sense of humor, so, like, I love when you have these new comics. I appreciate that, out. dude. But, but uh, you know, with the, I did like that one uh, with the school shooter one. I don't know if you've seen that one. Yeah, no, I did. That was, like, the first one I did, like, was kind of, like, a callback to, like, how kind of I used to do Shad Base, but just, like, more in a modern environment now. And um, the reception of it, like, on the site and overall and stuff, was so, like, it, it was... I didn't think it would be so positive. It's actually these kind of comics are more popular than porn. Dude, I don't. I've not seen many positive comments. Like the co people who comment on your website, so the ones I've seen. I'm not going to talk about all of them because uh, you you actually seem to have very nice fans and followers. But just the comments, uh, so especially th when you have a guest artist on. So when a guest artist is going to be really mean, but dude, there's something like 500 fucking comments. Of course, it's going to be mean people. Do, do uh, the controversial ones get boosted to the top or something? No, no, I uh, I always just boost whatever's new at the front page. Oh, okay. And uh, actually, like, in these past few weeks, the website's traffic has, like, increased from, like, its standard to, like, it's, like, 100, like, it's, like, like imagine, it's, like, 30% higher, basically. It's something kind of like that. It's a, it's a considerable amount of percent higher since I started posting those. The uh, comics? Yeah, I think there's like a, a Dude, new kind of awesome. audience that kind of found it now. And I'm actually and like, really close, really close to breaking the, you know, like the Alexa uh, traffic ranking. I'm really close to breaking into the thousands rather than the two thousands. Really oh, close. Dude. So this like, is... That's in the world. Yeah, this has been like the, the best year for my website yet. Like this has been a ridiculous year. Everybody clap for Shab Base. Good old Shad base. Dude, I am genuinely happy for you. That's awesome. I appreciate um, that. Hey, hey, Tommy Didera, thanks for subbing. I think it's like a... There, uh, oh, sorry. I was just saying, I think it's a product of like controversy and, and like me interacting more with people and like just kind of being having more of a public appearance that makes people interested. And I think a lot of it is like the controversy that happened and shit. That people want to see what that controversy is actually about. And then they, st they they come for the controversy and stay for shit. Man. Dude, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Come to hate me, dude. I don't care. Like, come to the side, dude. <laughs> it's all giving you money anyway. No, but now, wouldn't um, you agree that even even your most vocal, like, livid, most... A uh, final spawn, by the way, thanks for the sub. You're, like, your most 
hateful, like, critics who just hate you. I have one hater. But, like, don't you think you can always kind of, like, learn from those? Even, like, kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of important sometimes to hear them out, to kind of know where they're coming from, so you can at least see why they try to despise you so much. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the, the one hater. I always know it's to him, even though it's always different accounts. But this person clearly has dyslexia. And, like, I can always tell just by the wording of it that it's the same guy. And this guy doesn't have, like, he just hates me. He just leaves mean things. He doesn't leave anything constructive, though. So I don't know why. He just, like, he's like, oh, Niall again. Oh. Like, like even, if, even came to the Only Plays videos that I edited. And he's like, I hate the ones that Niall edits. But he, like, spell it all shit. Maybe it's, like, I, one guy who, like, really wanted to be Chris's friend. And he hates that you became his friend. <laughs> Sometimes it's that. really I've, weird shit like that. I have people. I've had people that try to use me to get to Chris, and I have had people that um, hate me because hey, a lot of Newgrounds people. And I'm not saying like a lot. Okay, it's not a lot. A few people from Newgrounds like really don't like me because uh, they think I'm a hack or something. James because is asking I about. I'm just gonna address James real quick. He's asking, look up "sexy serial killer" on Steam. I want to know your thoughts on it. Okay, let's see what James is saying here. I'm gonna look it up real quick, look, James. I need to look this up too. Do you know Jameski? Uh, Jameski? No, I do not. He's like a YouTuber who does like a lot of like uh, game-related videos and stuff. Oh hi, Jameski. This um, looks fucking gay, dude. This looks awful. Weird. This looks actually awful. This looks like something Jim Sterling would review. <laughs> What's it called? Sexy Serial Killer? Yeah, it's it looks awful. Why'd you make me look that up, James? Are you Jameski Ruins Roblox? Yeah. <laughs> That's him, dude. I'll give you a little sub. Niall is subbing to Jameski? Subbing to Jameski. Those are some two worlds uh, colliding right there. I don't know what I'm in for, but... Okay, hold up. Uh, 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 James Key is actually a really good guy. Like the thing that James Key does is, like he's like, he's a YouTuber and he's grown like really fast to be like, uh, like he he has a really big audience. But he he, I I've kind of I've kind of like kind of not really we weren't really like talking much, but I had like interactions with him before he really was big on YouTube, and he literally hasn't changed at all. He's still like the exact same guy, and he's really good with like so socializing and like catching up and like talk like you know like he's just good at with staying in touch he's yeah he i think he's good at, good with that i love that like i've seen it i've seen people change like before my eyes once they've started to get like notoriety on the internet like you can see the stark differences in their personality once once they believe that they're higher in the hierarchy than most people in the world you can see their head fucking grow 10 times the size it's it's ridiculous i've literally seen that Dude, could uh, you imagine? Like, could you imagine what kind of guy would Keemstar be if he didn't have an audience? Like, what kind of person would he be? Uh, no, yeah, because I've seen these people and they've been like just you know quiet, reserved people, who like, mm -hmm. and then they start acting like complete and other assholes. They go to like a panel, they get to speak at a panel, and suddenly they're like a different yeah. person. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, you're just this is not a big panel, dude. Like, calm, calm the fuck down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh god, I'm afraid that fucking names will slip out. No, 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 don't don't talk about names. They talk like they're talking to like they're acting like they're talking to the government of Singapore and they're fucking just solved like world hunger or something. Like they they're, they're, like they their head like you know, it's good that they have more confidence, but I've seen this guy like he walked he used to walk with his like back hunched over and looking at the ground and then as soon as he got the panel he was like, you know, chest out looking up at the sky now one Just one thing about food. confidence that i've always took to heart was that it's the food of the wise man but the liquor of the fool meaning fools get to, fools get drunk to... on it and the wise man he eats from it and sustains itself from oh, it. oh he, he sustains it yeah yeah mm, that's very good and then the liquor is like you know they just get drunk like yeah fucking yeah we're the best yeah. We the best music. Um, dude, damn. Wise Shad is wise. 
Yeah. No, dude, that, yeah, I didn't. I didn't come up with that. That is a. That is a, a ancient. I think like a Chinese quote, pretty sure, or something. I don't forget which country it's from, but it's so ancient that they don't know who said it. Chad, I remember telling you a really wise quote once that you really liked, and then I forgot what the quote was. Which one was it? What was it? It was like an Abraham Lincoln quote or something. It was like some men die at twenty-five. That's all I remember from it. You don't remember? Guys, right, which one is? I don't remember which one you told me. I know that there's one yeah, like that. Hey, hey guys, sorry about the slow progress with the comic, but it's kind of like taking my time with this right now. I should stop smoking so much so I can actually focus on the drawing, not on the cigarette. But this character, even though it's like really simple, for some reason this character, it just really annoys me to draw a character like this. There we go. Some people die at 25 and aren't buried until 75. Yes. And it's Benjamin Franklin. That is a good quote. Yeah, that is a cool. great quote. That is a good quote. Great quote. Hello, Any Dex the Swede. Do you remember Dex hey, the Swede? Dex. Yeah. Dex the Swede is a When good did boy. you interact with Dex the Swede? Um, I met him twice, I think. Magfest and uh you good at it? Yeah, he's a good dude. I'm not talking about Psychic Pebbles. <laughs> I didn't know Psychic Pebbles before he got notoriety. Psychic Pebbles is fucking oh, great. Like Psychic Pebbles is fucking great. Z Zach is a great dude. Don't talk shit about Zach, guys. Uh, you in a week, Shad boy? And now I live there. No, I won't be here, man. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to Ireland. Going to Ireland. See the family. God, wait, wait, Dex, so you go, you're going, you're going to uh, California for New Year's? Yeah, I think Dex was here uh, last year, like, at New Year's, if I remember correctly. Remember, uh, it was... Oh, no, you weren't here yet. Were, yeah, you, I don't think... You were at ja I just came Jackie's. Here, I came here, like, this Halloween. Yeah. yeah. I came here, like, literally two months ago. Not but, even. Yeah, we, we moved in, like... Uh, last year like in november so like right we like there were the holidays or right around the corner so they're all like these meet up and get togethers where we could like meet everybody in the area it's kind of cool yeah, the first day i got here like I, I found out there was a party on and like everyone was there yeah like, it's shit, always cool when, like yeah when like people like to get together sometimes everybody shows up that's really cool i haven't been invited to one since so uh... it was <laughs> Mick said once you could come out, remember? I remember telling you specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did Chris go to that? No, but we, we ended up like hang. Uh, it was you know, Chris Reagan. Yeah. It was his birthday, so we ended up meeting with him, and, and uh, Bumpty King was there, and Lacey Green. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, what an odd combination of. People. No, she's actually really nice. Lacey is actually really nice. I've heard that. I've heard that. I used to watch her videos like in 2009 when she just she used to just make atheism videos. I, I couldn't talk to her, sure. but she was really nice. I, I just didn't know Why what to, you talk to her? I didn't know what to say. Like it's, it's Lacey Green. I don't know what to say to her. Like I don't. I was like, yeah. Like so. How about that feminism? Like I, I don't know. What, what should I say? You should say. Uh... I'm glad you left the dark side. No, you know, it just sounds so condescending. Like, like you know, like, yeah. I, you were wrong all along. Now you are on the Definitely right side. You're scared of, you're scared of Lacey. I'm not scared. I was just, just like, oh, because I don't know what to say. <laughs> scared of a woman. Mountain Feminist. Dew and coffee, Alice? What kind of combination is that? Where you are? Yeah, it's actually, it actually is. It was kind of raining earlier. It never rains here, so I was surprised. Do you miss the snow, Lyle? Here. You don't miss I've, the snow now. I haven't, I've been here for like two months yet, as I said, and already I've been surrounded by fires. I've been like rain, wind, fucking it's freezing cold. Did you right see now. the fires from where you were? Yeah, I was so close to the fires, dude. I had to stay over at Chris's house. Oh, yeah, I remember you had to like go over there, but nothing happened to your place, oh, my right? Window. It looked like 9-11 out my window, like it was just fucking smoke burnt, like just 
passing right by it. Like you could see, like you know, the trail of smoke coming. It was crazy. See ya, um, James. Have a nice day, dude. Yeah, um, bye, James. You know the the mount. You ever you ever, you've been over here before? You can see the hills. Remember, you can see the hills over here. I haven't been to your place. No, but like in our area, you know, we live right where Hans lives. Yeah, yeah, in Burbank. Yeah, I, I can see the hills too. I don't live that far from you, actually. Yeah, there was like, at some point, there was like a week where like just the hills were on fire over here. So that shit happens. You could just look out of the window and it looked like Mordor. <laughs> just fucking fire red skies. I didn't actually see fire. I just saw the smoke. Oh, okay. We, we literally see fire here sometime. Look at Ed Sheeran song. Yeah, yeah. You can anyway, that was I'm also Lord of the Rings. What's that, Niall? Uh, no, it was, it was The Hobbit. Oh yeah, The Hobbit. Um, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get going. I'm gonna be streaming in like 15 minutes, so I just wanna like. Get All right, dude. Some cigarettes, All right, cigarettes dude. or something beforehand. So. Well, thanks. I'll talk to thanks you later. for hanging out, dude. Chad. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Have a nice right. stream, dude. Bye. That was uh, our our good friend Niall. Guys, you remember Niall? I love Niall. He's a great guy. But yeah, now it's back to us. Hello, Trop. So guys, he's basically saying here, "What do you want for Christmas, old boy?" And he's saying, "Did you just assume my gender?" And then, given the new gender laws in like places like Britain and stuff, they arrest him because it's actually an assault, an assault to do it, right? And this guy says, what does this guy say? Uh, this guy says something along the lines of, um, he says something like, uh, bigots, bigots like you, bigots like you need to rot in prison right and this guy is like he's uh, while they're arresting him he's trying to like kind of like you know like uh, condole her him it and he's saying are you okay young lady and because he says are you okay young lady he's gonna be like did you just did you just doesn't even need to finish the sentence and then he arrests both of them cop gets arrested too because he also misgendered it also act of violence is gendering her and he says when he when he uh when he arrests both of them he's saying Don't worry. Don't worry. Miss. Another uh, falsely used pronoun. Miss. And he says... They... Won't... Bother... You no, and then he gets cut off because he also just did it. Now he's also a criminal. He cuts himself off. He has to arrest himself. I know it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid, but this is actually what happens in fucking Britain. You can get arrested for this. And I thought it'd be fun to do a little comic about it that goes... This just goes on. <laughs> Shut what the fuck? It's a Britain or Canada where someone is actually arrested for that. Yeah, Canada was it too. Yeah, Canada. Is that how you say bigot? Oh, is that how you say bigot? Okay, thank you. I know it's fucking silly, guys, but I thought it would be fun to do this. 
And don't worry, I also have a more sexual Christmas comic in the works. And I might do the one with Frosty the Snowman also. I might do that one as well, because, uh... I mean, it's fucking Frosty. Shedman, you're modern, Thomas. Who's Thomas Nost? Draw snow dick? I don't want to draw Frosty in a sexual way. I think that's a bit weird. I just think it's funny. Uh, I just think I have a concept that I think would be kind of funny to do with Frosty. The kind of like a concept of like, what would Frosty be like if he came back today? Like, what would happen to him? Since all he wants is a white Christmas. It's all Frosty wants. He's been dreaming of a white Christmas. Yeah, I've seen the film with Hitler, Eris Vida Da, Look Who's Back. I've seen that film. German movie about Hitler coming back. Oh, no, he has to say that. Why am I making her say that? It was a lame movie? You thought it was a lame movie? I just thought it was cool. I thought it was a really interesting commentary on uh, so uh, the, what's going on in Germany right now. I thought it was really clever commentary. Did a good job with it. I think it was a bit corny at times, but overall they did a good job with it. Okay, did you just gonna say... Did you... Just... You know in Germany, it's, what's going on is that the refugees and... Like the refugees are being a huge problem. They're having a huge immigration problem that the refugees are coming over and like taking jobs and taking their resources, taking their places to live and just basically infecting the country with a lot of crime and uh, poverty. And meanwhile, the German um, politicians and the, the whole like the whole agenda of the German is already left and liberal. So they're, they're still the whole white guilt thing where they're heavily pushing white guilt that uh, Germany is having a huge problem with preserving their own culture. That preserving their own culture is looked as a bad thing. And no, Rick, that's not just Sweden. That's very heavily in Germany prevalent too. It's not just Sweden. Germany is having the same uh, problem. But uh, Angela Merkel, like Angela Merkel, the politician of Germany, literally said, like she's like the, the she's the, the head of Germany, she's like the president in Germany, the Bundeskanzler. And she literally said, who are we to judge these people given our past? She literally said that. And that is, that is like white guilt, that is just, there you go, like that's white guilt. Like, your past shouldn't matter. It's about the present. That doesn't excuse other people fucking with you. Yeah, 
And that's why this is this thing in Germany where a lot of people are like, they want it to go back to the, like Hitler would like take over. So you, like a lot of them have like, they they want it to go back that it's pure German races and stuff. You know, they, they don't want the immigrants there. And that's why I thought Eres Vida Da was a very clever commentary on what would happen if Hitler came back. Because, you see, that's that's the problem with that whole thing. There is no black and white. There is no good and evil. It's all gray. Like, the immigrants... I'm sure there's a lot of immigrants who could generally use help, and they are appreciated for the help, and they become a, a contribution to society. I'm sure there are certain ones that do that. But then again, there's a lot of immigrants that just rape, kill, and infect the country with their own culture in a negative way. And there's just no black and white there, you know. You can't, you can't say let's just get rid of all immigrants, and you can't say let's let's just keep the immigrants coming in. There has to be some kind of some kind of solution, and that is just difficult to find. Oh, proven knowledge. What are my plans for 2018? Let's get into that a bit. By the way, I'm looking at my bandwidth right now, and it seems like I'm dropping a lot of frames at the moment. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I'm going to figure out what, what's going on here. I'm dropping quite a few frames. How's the frame rate for you? Are you noticing anything? Maybe we can get into that 2018. Nobody needs France. Now, France is an important country, Trap. It's a good country. But, um... Definitely has its own problems. Especially also with immigrants and stuff. It's these liberal countries. One of the few countries that doesn't have problems with that that is super liberal is Switzerland. Switzerland doesn't have an issue with that. No, I think it's stable right now. I think it's stable right now. The problem is they're they're bringing in a lot of army-aged men who are causing a bunch of problems and don't want to live in German culture and would rather change Deutschland to be Islamic. Yeah, that's the way of Islam, is to go into a place and turn it into, like, convert them. Just convert them. Islam is very uh, about converting people, converting places into their own. Man, what the hell is going on with my fucking frames here? Anyway. Maybe I'm down- am I downloading something on Steam or something? You might be downloading something on Steam, let me check real quick. Yeah, Battlegrounds is trying to- Stop the update, Battlegrounds. Fucking stop it. I'm gonna- uh, exit out of Steam real quick. I think maybe it might be Steam that's causing this. Yeah, Battlegrounds is trying to do an update. That should stabilize it. It's costing my bandwidth. But yeah, I was saying, someone asked about 2018 chat base. Okay, guys, here's the plan, okay? Here's my plan for 2018. I'm gonna do a quick, um... I actually have a cigarette for this to talk about this. Save this. Let's have a quick cigarette. This one doesn't let third world Muslims in in masses. Yes, they don't. They don't do that. But they're, all, they're still very liberal. We don't have to be liberal that your fucking guts fall out. But yeah. One thing I was saying about 2018. If you look back at like 2017, I think... There was a too high of a focus on lolly content. The focus on that was way too high. I don't know what I was thinking. And um, there's a lot of controversy regarding that. And in general, there wasn't like, I think next year, next year, I definitely want to do a lot more comics like this I'm doing right now. A lot more comics like I just had, like with like the, the milk and cookies and stuff like that. A lot more. Like, I'm talking like one or two a week. Like a lot more comics like this. 
and the Milk and Cookie one, and the other MILF ones, and just like little short one-off comics. And another thing is, I'm gonna do more... I'm gonna do a lot less lolly focus stuff. I'm still gonna do it, but a lot less. There'll be a lot less. And oftentimes, some of the lolly stuff will be tied into comics like this, where it'll be more like in a... in a tongue-in-cheek way, and not in a sexualizing way. And another thing I want to do is, when I do porn again, I want it to do like, like the Raven stuff, like really hardcore stuff, like just really hardcore porn stuff. Dreaming. Dreaming should go, I'm gonna... Try, try, I'm gonna tie in the streaming with most of the safe for work stuff I draw so you can expect me to be live several times a week like three four maybe sometimes five times a week you can expect me to be live I will have the camera on like 80 or 90 percent of the time I'll have the camera on like most of the time like right now I'll be having the camera on So that's kind of the plan. You know, I can actually show you, I can show you some other stuff I'm, I'm working on. Uh, look, this here's some more stuff that'll be a thing 2009. So you can kind of like see the direction of 2016. Let me give you a little, little snippet. Some of you may have sh seen this work in progress, but here's a little snippet. Have a look at this, guys. Look at 2018. Part part of uh, what's to come. I'll do a lot less. Uh, I want to do a lot less Rule 34 stuff and like start doing just more like original concepts tied into culture and stuff. This would be like a lesbian thing I'm gonna do, and. Um, I just don't think the Rule 34 stuff should be necessary. I, I'm gonna do the Rule 34 stuff if I think it's fun, if it's a character I like, if it's something I find fun. But I wanna do a lot more like kinda original stuff tied into culture and... Like the incest comics don't need to be characters, they can be my own characters. It can just be tied into culture. You know what I mean? Like the rich mom. The trophy mom. Or like the, you know, like just shit like that. And I, th I think we can have a lot of fun with that. But I'm, I, that's, like, I'm not stopping with the Rule 34 stuff. I'm still working on going to do more like sexualized characters from like video games and like cartoons and stuff. But we. On a more, they just keep it on the down low. I don't have to make that the main focus anymore. That that would be a waste of time, I think. That would be, we wouldn't be able to, like we would be too restrained in doing that, if that makes sense. We're too restrictive. I want to be more free, more quote unquote liberal with my decisions and what I do. So in short, in short, 2018 is gonna be more chaos. I'm gonna simplify things, but there will be more work in general. I'll post more. And I'm serious when I say 2017 was like I I didn't think it would be with all the shit that happened, but like it fessed up to be like the the best year yet again for the website for all my social media and all that. It was like a wicked year. It was fucking wicked. It, it really... It made it possible for me not having to draw porn at all anymore. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to draw porn at all in order to live off of this. And that is fucking awesome. But that being said, I like drawing porn, so I'm not gonna stop it. I'm just not gonna do it all the time. And 
It doesn't help that Trump got elected. Trump, 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 Trump. What about Earth Chan Ludes? Earth Chan? I saw that. We'll still see. We we shall we you shall see. I'm not promising anything, but I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Best year thanks to lollies. Most well, I'm sure the controversy is part of it, yes. And I'm hoping we'll have JL uh
thing I love about this style is that uh, ana anatomy doesn't matter anymore. Look at this anatomy. Look at this. It doesn't matter at all anymore. I'm completely free from the shackles of anatomy. That's my favorite thing about this style. Is that you can just draw literally anything, and it doesn't have to look like it. You can you can like draw like an uh, an abstract representation of it, and you kind of get the gist of it. Let me see here. Uh, did he did he did he drop out? Oh, I think he may have dropped out. Yeah, he went completely offline. He went completely offline. What? Oh, is he, is he the thing he's saying? What are you saying, Rick? My fucking Discord crashed. Oh. Rick got DDoS by uh, Fem, Fem hackers. Moving back. All right, Rick. There you go. Take two. What shirt was it? Um, for those who don't know what shirt it is, it's that red one on Shad Base. Uh, let me get a quick picture of it. I'm gonna get a quick picture of it for you. A little visual aid. It's this one. This is the shirt. Alright, I tried it again. I, I moved Rick in again, but it... <sighs> Try this one more time. Alright, sorry, my Discord was messing up real bad or something. Alright. Yeah. Um. Did did my story finish? Um, no. Or did my dis start, start over? Start over. Okay. From from which point? Start the over. very beginning. Start or start over. Okay. All right. So I have I've gotten into um, two arguments about this shirt or whatever, or not even arguments. Me just sitting there uh, telling them that I really don't care what they think. Um, uh, one was at school, um, where a few students approached me, or one student, um, Wait, saying, You said a few hey, students uh, are one student. You gotta be more... It's, it's one, it was, like, one student, but there were, like, two others, like, with him. Okay, so it was a guy? Yeah, it was a guy, it was a guy, and then there were two girls or whatever by him or well, whatever. What did the guy um, look like? He was, uh, imagine, uh... Imagine like spook, okay, but but like really short. Okay, so he's saying the guy looked like a small fat Michelin man. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. What, this, what was his hairstyle? Man, like hairstyles are very important. What was his hairstyle like? It was like a shaved type thing. Okay. And these two girls Even were they were they big, were they bigger than him? No, they were. They, they were just like a fat women that are fat liberal, women. Okay, fat w liberal fat women. So you have like this tiny little man, this tiny little He's Michelin defending. man, and he has a shaved head. You said he had a shaved head. Yes. And he was very small and had two large liberal women with him. Were they also fat? Yes. He was. He was defending them. Were they fat? Yes. Or were they bigger than him? I think one one was a little bit bigger than him. One, one, was, one was a little. One was about the same size. One was about the same size, and the other one was a little bit bigger than him. Yeah. And did they have like liberal hairstyles? I mean, what is a liberal hairstyle? Because you know, you said they're liberal women. Like, how do you know they're liberal women? Like, how could you take that out of them? Okay, the, I've known these. I've known these people. Oh, you in just the past, you just know that they're liberal. Did, did, I, I know. did they know you as as your real name? Like they just know you as uh, whatever your name is. Definitely. So they say like, "Hey, uh, Charlie." Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. You're like, "Hey guys, hey there." Uh, uh, how are, How are you guys? Doing? You know what their name is. Like you know them. And I I do. Okay, so you know them. I know them. 
They approached me. Um, the the big boy in front, the the small fat man, starts white knighting these women. Okay, um, saying that how oh, my shirt is over glorifying the degradation of women and all of this, and I'm like, I, I like the artist, I support him and everything, uh, and I like the shirt. And he's like, I don't care, you need to cover that up or whatever. And I was like, well, yeah, I'm not gonna make a scene or anything, um, but I really don't care. Um, so I kind of, I kind of just walked back to my desk, um, sat down, and just ignored them. Um, and then he, he walked over to me, grabbed my jacket, and tried to pull it off to reveal my shirt and cause a scene. This was the first encounter that I've had <laughs> wearing the shirt in public. The first encounter? He literally tried to, yeah, he's literally tried to, like, pull my jacket off to expose. But he said he, he said he's a little man, like he's a small little man. He's a little man, like he's, he, he, he knows that if conflict were to happen, um, I would win. But th this is in front of teachers. He wanted to expose me in front of uh, the public education administrators or whatever to show them that I was violating the dress code or whatever. Was, or do you have a dress code in your school? I mean, I don't think that my that shirt would violate it, but it's... It, they could get me for sexualization or something. But, um, yeah. He tried ripping off my shirt and I just kind of pushed him off and I was like, listen, don't touch me again. Were you, um, you, you literally pushed him away? I had to literally push him away. You got away. physical with up. him? You got physical? Yes, I had to push him away because he was trying to rip off my jacket. Okay, so he he got physical. It was a physical strike, an encounter. Yes, yes. And then what happened? I I pushed him away, um, and then he everybody, all my friends around me, just started <laughs> just started calling him names. They started calling <laughs> him <laughs> names. What was one of the names they called him? They were like, they were just telling him to sit down, fat ass, you fucking retard. Oh my like, god. <laughs> yeah, well, he was just trying to just cause a scene for nothing, to, for just defending. Did that make him sit? Fat. Does that make him sit down, or did it make him like? Made him sit down. That made him sit down and look over at me with a fucking like, like a evil, like maniacal stare or whatever, you know, just like sneering over at me, and I was just like, you come. On. Are, like, are you still friends with this man? I'm I'm not even really friends with him. I just know him by name. Like I I've n never really had like a full on conversation. I've just went to school with him. Well, why do you think people are like that? I don't know. I I, I guess the way that they were raised or whatever. You know, growing up uh, hmm. later than I was or uh, taught different values. But it sounds like he didn't grow up all that much. If he's still that short. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe they they raised him a bit too well with those uh those Twinkies, didn't they? It's the only yes. it's the only thing I could think of. It's the only food fat people eat I can think of. I just think of a new food. But yeah, that's unfortunate, Rick. That is unfortunate. It's okay. It's so these women, these women the that were with couple. him, would you consider having sex with them? No, no. Were they like out of your league or just? Oh, just it's like. It's okay. Look at the comic that you're drawing now. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like it's one of those. One, kind of like one of these women. Those women yeah. are real. People don't. People who don't like go to school and stuff nowadays. No, no, don't, don't, like those women. Like those women exist. That is not a parody. That's actually based on real life. Like people, if you look, at, if you type in in Google Jim Sterling's wife, I'm gonna type in real quick Jim Sterling wife. I forgot her name. I want to see. I want to show this to Rick and see if maybe Rick. Rick, was it a woman like this? I I can't see it on. No, I, no, I'm, oh, you can't see it on stream if I show you. Yeah, yeah, I'm on mobile right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna show it to the chat. There's no need to to show this poor woman on chat. But yes, she's a public figure, by the way, guys. I'm not like doxing anybody. She's a public figure. I've just forgot yeah, yeah, her yeah. name. But 
I was I I've never had anybody approach me about my clothing or anything prior to that and I was just it, it just shows that people can honestly get offended with, with a fucking drawing. Rick, are you okay? I I'm I'm good. You sound very worked up and stressed out right now. Are you okay? Like uh, are you getting I'm, like PTSD from this uh, encounter? Um, no, no, no PTSD or anything. I'm just, uh, I, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to have another encounter with this man. Oh, so he scares uh, you. He frightens you. He doesn't scare me. He doesn't scare me. I'm, I'm not scared of this short, fat man. I can assure you. Well, you found it annoying and it wish, uh, irritating and you'd, you'd like to avoid that in the future. I go to school and I try to study, okay? I'm not there to have my jacket attempt uh, attempted to be ripped off or whatever. I'm I'm just there to do my job and go home. Go home, do your job, and go home. That is a very good mindset to have in school because there's a lot of distractions there. This tiny oh, little yeah. fat man, would you say he resembled a goblin? Um, what okay. myth mythical creature do you think he resembled the most? Okay, um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. He, he resembled the Hunchback, but the Hunchback of Notre Dame is big and strong. He, this man was the Hunchback of Notre Dame, his but His mongoloid cousin, weak. like his mongoloid kind of lesser brother, yes. even he's ashamed of. Yes. It's a shame. Because not only is he, because the, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, at least he was a nice guy. You know, like he, he tried to keep to himself and try to be a nice guy. And th this man is... <laughs> Is the hunchback of respecting liberal women? Mm. So that they were like his, <laughs> his gypsy queens were liberal women. Yes. Mm, that's very interesting. Like, would you say you could you could uh, compare this to an encounter with a real life goblin? Like, that's as close as it gets. Yeah, uh, pretty pretty damn close. I've never had somebody approach me like that before demonic pretty by the way thank you for the bits dude merry christmas to you uh you were saying uh, would you believe me if i've if i've told you i've seen a real life goblin before you've seen a real life goblin yeah would you believe I, me I, if i said told you that would you think i'm crazy is it ricky berwick no no like an actual goblin like not like someone who's like looks deformed or something like an actual literal goblin I don't, I, I don't believe you. you, don't, you I'd, believe I'd, me? I'd be, I'd be flattered to hear your story. <laughs> you know what? Let's hear your Let's other see. story. You said there was two encounters. What's the second encounter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one was a bit shorter, but um, I went. I was at the grocery store. I was just trying to get some food or whatever to go home, eat, make dinner. You know, um, I was down. Uh, the frozen fucking food aisle to get some get some ice cream because you know I'm a little thick little thick boy. <laughs> the man likes but, his food. Uh, he likes to eat well. He likes he likes a good meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was down there and this um, old sixty year old woman saw me with the shirt as well. So you're <laughs> saying she she's sixty? She's like an elderly woman. She's like an elderly woman. Okay. She just started approaching me, telling me that she she like walked over like limp in the leg or whatever, approached me. Uh, you know, you shouldn't wear that kind of shirt. She and, told you that you know, in like a southern accent. You shouldn't wear that kind of shirt. Um, this is the second time this happened to me. I'm just like, all right, this lady, she's not gonna try to grab my jacket or anything. So what did you respond to her with? I. I just ignored her. I this one I pretty much just ignored. You ignored. I, you walked away, not saying anything at I all. Away from this woman. I, I did not I find care. That very difficult. I find that very difficult to do IRL, ignoring people. You think that's ignore that? It's not that hard. Like if some if some sixty year old woman. I find it very difficult. Comes at, <laughs> she's not going to be able to chase you. No, but I find, I find it very difficult because I have to say I have to respond. I have to say something. I can't ignore people. I'm like, imp I cannot just ignore people. I can't do that. I know. Uh, I, I, I feel like it's only, like, uh, necessary to 
defend yourself if you're crowded with people or whatever, but I was just in the store and it was just me and her in an aisle and I was like, I don't have anything to prove Wasn't to you like or anybody else. Wasn't that like super You said that? I I didn't say it, but it's, I, I was thinking I just don't have anything to prove to you. Like, I... So you just walked I, away with your tail between your I legs? Walked away. I, I, I walked away. I, I grabbed my ice cream. I walked away. You should have said something. You should, you should have said something that's like... How, how, how am I going to defend no, uh, not... myself, the 60-year-old woman who, who's not going to change her mind? You should have just said something like, man, these, ice, these chubby hubbies are great, aren't they? Like, just say something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, like, oh, like, my favorite <laughs> flavor that, is Chunky that, Monkey. What is yours? Like, say something like that. Like, my favorite flavor is Chunky Monkey. What is yours? Like, just say something like that. Say, like, man, those are some nice towels you're buying, miss. Like, whatever she was buying. Like, just, you know, yeah, change yeah. the subject. It's like, have you been doing something different with your hair, lady? I love it. Like, just say something like that. See how she reacts. Okay. Next time Embrace. someone... Embrace. Yeah, no, be like, be like, whoa, whoa. Where's your mom, little girl? I was like, oh wait, no, you're, oh, no way you're 60. You know, like, you gotta, like, flatter her. <laughs> no, that's, that's weird. That's the weirdest thing you could probably say. You think you're a psychopath. 60 year old. Like, oh, she, you, <laughs> young ladies like you shouldn't be walking around by themselves. This woman could have been my grandmother. <laughs> that's what makes it so ironic. <laughs> Look, I was she's gonna she's gonna see that as an info. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Look, like, <laughs> Zach and me were once uh, getting food. This was back in Philly in a grocery store. We were talking about shit, and we kept saying like, "That's cancer. It's, this is fucking cancer." And an old lady approached us from behind and said, "I dealt with cancer." Like, she started talking to us I about how she like fought cancer and it's it it ruins people's lives and stuff. <laughs> and we're not gonna just walk away. You'd be like, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got over it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss with your husband, though. You know, like, we're not just going to be like, fuck you, old lady. Like, no, that's disrespectful. I had a similar situation, but I, I, I was on the bus, and I, I think I made a rape joke or something. Uh, am I allowed to talk about this on Twitch stream, yay or nay? Rape jokes, I think you're like, people, like, you're not making a rape joke. You're saying how you said a rape joke. Uh, I, I had said one, and apparently the person behind me, his sister, was raped. <laughs> and uh, he, he got up in my face about that, and I was just like, listen. Yeah, pe people don't, like... It, it, he thinks a joke. You said that? You said, listen. You said that? Like that? And, and <laughs> Things that somebody laughs. Dude, what the fuck is going on with your mic, dude? Joke. It sounds like you're taking a shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> you know, it's good. Hey, Pixie Sticks, how you doing? We're, we're. This man is telling me about his encounter. His encounters in the streets. His physical encounters while I'm drawing. But yeah, you, you're saying you, you you got approached because you're saying a rape joke in public. Yes, yes. I was I was sitting on the the bus, um, the transit system, and I was making a, a rape joke at the time. The other guy was laughing. He thought it was the funniest thing ever. The guy behind me, he was like, you know, you know, my sister was raped, and I, I don't think that's funny. And I was I looked at him. I was like, you know, anything's a joke if I can make something or somebody laugh, you know. And he he got real defensive about it. He was like, you know, I don't think anything that uh can harm somebody or um, offend somebody is funny. I, I looked at him and I said, I don't care. You should have said... I, I made another... No, you should... I said, I don't care, and then I made another rape joke. No, you didn't. To, to no, you to fucking me. didn't. No, you <laughs> didn't. I swear you're so, I did. Now you just know he's full of shit, dude. Yeah, that is so, that's such bullshit, dude. I, no, I swear to God, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my he god! Didn't, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't hit. He didn't hit me. You, 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 even, week people, week? even people in the chat are saying, "What a liar!" Like that, oh, that, that oh, sounded so me. fake. He didn't hit me, but a week later, somebody made a rape joke again at our school, and he hit them and got suspended for a week. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rick, are you a pathological liar? 
I'm not. This wasn't a lie. I sw I swear it was not a lie. Guys, do you think do you think this is real? <laughs> then I did a backflip. <laughs> no, I didn't do. No, listen. This is a real story. I kid you not. <laughs> I, it is the way you said it. Like, I told him I didn't care, and I turned around and told another rape joke. Like, what? I will. What? Will Are you a later. sociopath? <laughs> Are you insane? Uh, like, do you have to have rape jokes you can pull out of your pocket? It's like, 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 what is a rape joke even? It's like, is it like, do you hear of the two chickens that crossed the road? One of them got oh, raped? Oh, it's not like is that, that. Is that like, a rape joke? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is a rape joke in your, in your opinion? Hey, Shady, the dude, thank you for the bits, dude. It's just something, it's, if I can say something that will make somebody laugh, what, with, with using rape as a fucking as a pun or whatever that that's good enough you know like hey, give, give right. me an example give me an example of that tell me the rape joke you said after you turned around like if i'm the guy right now i'll be like that's not funny after i turn around i turned around to the guy that i was making laugh i looked at him and i was like i'm gonna rape you now and then he just started laughing and then the guy the guy behind me he just fucking he sat down and he didn't he didn't even hit me he just fucking sat down and I, I won that. And then a week later, he's got the smallest fucking kid. We called him Q-Tip. And he fucking hit him. He, he hit him and got suspended for a week. Poor Q-Tip. Caught in the crossfire. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, another thing that happened to me and Zach of like when people approach you was when we were in that liberal bookstore. And we found like this children's book about like Trump. It was about a character that looked like, like a little kid that looked like Trump, it was a spoiled little brat, and it called was called like Maury wants more or something because he keeps wanting more. Where is this at? This was in uh, downtown California. I forgot the exact location. It was near this? It was a very liberal bookstore. Like they had like communism books and stuff. And is uh, it all just? Is it all liberal based? Yes, like, yeah, there's no, nothing but liberal stuff. Yes, it was like Antifa <laughs> books and stuff in it, and uh, there was this children's Trump book, and Zach took it, and he he said in a really loud voice, he took it and said like, "What a hack!" and started looking through the book. You know, like he called like the book, like he just said, "What a hack!" Started looking through it, and then we were like laughing at it, and then this old lady, uh, she's not like she's like maybe in her fifties, and she looked like she was like a. Like she looked very liberal. Like she had like a, a poncho and like gray frizzy hair and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, look over your shoulder. Like it was what a weird thing to say to approach people. First of all, like look over your shoulder. Like what the fuck we looked over. And then she said that she was teaching, she was showing that book to her uh, like preschool children and that they're making a play about Trump and some other political it's, figure. If she's like bragging about how she's teaching it to her, to her students, her like little children. Isn't like, that I, literally just illegal to do? You're not supposed to teach bias towards any political apparently party. Apparently not, but, but they were like literal, like she was literally talking to our preschoolers. And then you know what Zach said? Zach held up the book with one hand and said, I never agreed with anything more in my life. <laughs> like it was like actually, <laughs> <laughs> it was so like he just made it completely 180 and it was so like it, it just ended the conversation and we, we like politely said goodbye and walked away it was like the, what like you're not supposed to like people may have like differing opinions and try to like talk down to you but sometimes just to be polite and be like yeah goodbye you know yeah yeah i i, I get it but yeah Alrighty, Strad. I feel like I've told my stories. Um, You've told like gonna... us your stories. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to head off the stream now. It was fun hanging out. Alright, Rick. Thank you for coming on. No problem. Anytime. Yeah, no, Zach, he's like that. He's pretty funny. He's, he's pretty... Like, even if I were like an old lady or something, like I, I don't see how you can be mad at him when he like says shit like that. It's just funny. I just thought it was weird how she said, "Look over your shoulder." Like it, it's such a strange thing to like start a conversation with. Look over your shoulder. What are you threatening me? 
Oh fuck. I actually found this at a comic store. What are you showing me here? Trump's Titans fidget spinner force. Bringing back the no spin zone. That looks fucking gay, dude. I don't even know. Is that pro or anti Trump? I don't even fucking know. It's neutral, probably. It's just meme. Meme comics. You see the hilarious Twitter storm with the Lux House. Who's the Lux House? I don't even know what Lux House is, to be honest. I'm kind of out of the loop if that's a thing. E Thoughts? I'm not familiar with them. By the way, guys, I'm gonna cut the comic off down here, so I'm not gonna finish drawing the cop's body there. I'm gonna cut it off somewhere down here, I think. Yeah, I think that's about right. What if, um, what is he saying? What if Carl Weezer didn't have access to the nuclear launch codes? Thanks for subbing, Crew17. And I don't know who Carl Weezer is, dude. Are they like the Ethot house of uh, like the FaZe clan of Ethots? It's fucking, it fucking is. Shouts oh. Ultimate Bay. I must go now. My sleep needs me. Have a good night. I'll be watching the rest tomorrow. Oh, cheers for checking in, Shouts Ultimate Bay. I might stream again tomorrow. We shall see. But thanks for checking in. They crumbled and called each other out. It's always the issue if you like live with people who like like make drama a thing online if you like get into a problem with them people are probably gonna hear about it deluxe house I've never even heard about that kind of a silly name It looks fucking awkward. Oh, he has his hand on his mouth. It looks fucking awkward. He is like, maybe, maybe it should be more angled. Fuck it. It's gonna be cut off somewhere here anyway. Oh, Zoe Berger is part of it. I heard of her because of all the drama. But some people just like really like drama. Like it's like kind of their bread and butter online. So I get it that they like. Everything that happens, they have to like boost it online, frequency boost it, and tell everybody about it. Because people do like really like that shit. You wanna hear about the goblin? I was just joking, Nevi. Kind of never seen a goblin in real life. Goblins aren't real, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're just kind of finishing up the line art here, then I can get into some coloring. I'm very loose here with the proportions, as you can tell. It's not the idea to come across as usual. Wait, I gave him hair here. I should give him hair. Actually, instead of hair, I'm going to give him like a bus cut. So he can differentiate the two officers better. But they're supposed to be two different officers. You know, I just kind of want him... 
I want him to look like he's like, oh, like he said something bad, you know, like he's covering his mouth. Right here, cop. What a nice badge that is, cop. Um, I also got to separate this here. There's going to be like a thick black line going through there. I'm separating all that. Did you guys like my story? Yes, Rick, your story uh, sounded uh, very believable. Some of them, at least. Some of them were believable. You should have T say cock instead. Who's T have T say cock? Who's T? Or him like say oh instead of oh fuck oh cock. Nah, I think fuck is a more common thing people say. Not even gonna draw his eyes here. I'm gonna make it like the thing is covering his eyes. Little shoes, little boots. The badges? Oh, the badges? Cop? Let's make him here say cock here. See if someone notices. All right, here. Let's let's get some coloring in this bitch. So colors, pretty simple stuff. Let's do the Christmas man first. The mall Santa. Well, yeah, kick kick his nine. I think it just kind of depends where you wear it. But yeah, I don't want anybody to get in trouble for the shirt designs I do. If you get in trouble for my shirt designs, it's not my fault. It's your own responsibility where you wear them. It's like if you wear a Trump hat, you're probably going to get in trouble for it in some spots, especially here in California. Like some people hate when you wear a Trump hat. So you kind of just got to be aware of where to wear it and where not to wear it. What is so wrong with wanting to make America great again? Which is all the implications it has, Strap, like all the social implications it has. Because a lot of people genuinely consider Trump a Nazi. Like a lot of people genuinely consider him a racist and a Nazi and a bigot. Like unironically. So it just kind of becomes a problem with those people. Because they will um, lash out about it. They'll ask you to take it off. Throw shit at you. Actually, I think I kind of fucked this part up with the line art. What the fuck's going on there? Gotta fix this part. Tell my dad spanks me for not wearing a Trump hat. What do I do? Your dad spanks you for not wearing one? I do not believe you. I do not believe you. Excuse me for not believing this tale you're spinning. What color should we make the girl, guys? What color should, should she be? 
Can we make her all pale and pasty? I think it's a girl. I don't even know what this is myself. Super pasty. Someone get a uh, Shadman gives me orgasms. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, dude. The hell is up with that name? Give her green hair. It's obnoxious green hair. She's not thick, she's just fat. Just fat. Not thick. got fucked up. Can we do Discord chat? Uh, I think we got a done with Discord chat at the moment. Like, uh, I kind of just want to, like, get this done. Discord chats always end up being super awkward. With these cops, this is going to make them, like, um... Let's see here, this has it. I'm not gonna make him black. You see, I, I, if you draw like this simple, any skin color can be like confusing. Like if I draw them black, people might think that they're black. Like that they're black has something to do with it. Schmutz for a stream again? Fucking schmutz. Wait, uh, Pixie Sticks, what do you stream again? I think, uh, thanks for subbing, by the way, Pixie Sticks. Thanks for being a sub. Are you are you also uh, you're also a creative streamer? Emote making and shooter. Yeah, because I remember your name. I do remember your name. Emote making and shooters. You make emotes. We're gonna make some new emotes pretty soon. Some blank slates I have to fill. Sitting around. Has any ideas for new emotes on Twitch? I'm gonna give her a pink speech bubble. Or maybe like a green one. I don't like her hair. That's, that looks actually awful. Let me make it yellow. This potato girl, Shmoth <laughs> uh, Trop. Marco. Is this more appropriate cop color, right? It's, it's light blue, maybe they have a darker hat, like they have a darker hat like this. That's an appropriate cop color, I think. Maybe some uh, black pants, darker pants. Black right here. It's 
A lot of Pepe emojis. A lot of Pepe ones. Godzilla Master, as I said, dude, I'm not gonna chat with anybody on Discord right now. I do not feel like chatting with people at the moment. People can't just request to come on Discord like that. Did I ever draw a swimsuit succubus? I've never drawn swimsuit succubus. Nope. like a dark dress. Sociopaths, thank you for the bits, dude. Glad you like these comics, man. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try to have three out. I'm gonna have this one and two other ones out in the next few days. Like, before the 25th. So basically, this one will be either today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, this will be tomorrow. Friday should be another one, and... No, I mean... This will be tomorrow. it will be one on Saturday, and one on Monday, okay? This one tomorrow, one on Saturday, and another one on Monday. So let's change up the music a bit. This music has been playing for a while now. Let's change it up a bit. Where is it? It's a very punchable face. He did a great job. She doesn't have a nose. They all don't have noses. Do some of this. Do some of this, guys. There we go. Yeah, I have another kind of like incest kind of themed one lined up for Christmas I want to do. And another one was more kind of like this one. More kind of like, uh social commentary type of thing can be quite fun I know you guys probably prefer the incest ones the sexual ones not the social commentary ones Or actually, this part here should be white. What am I doing? That part should be white. There we go. Make the cop car, I believe they have black hoods, if GTA has stopped me anything. If 
Fender Bender This emote please What is that emote? I'm not gonna have that emote Why is that emote so important to you, Rick? What what's about that emote that she would want? Like, it's just a fucking like. I don't know. I think I think we could do a more fitting one. There's nothing significant about that picture, Nebicon. Yes, Godzilla, Ma Godzilla Master, I told you, dude, I don't want to have anybody else on the chat right now. People can't just invite themselves to come on. That's not how my stream works. The only reason I was talking to Rick is because he got assaulted for wearing my shirt and wanted to hear the story. And the reason I had Niall on is because Niall is an old friend. Now let me go way back. Should I give him black shoes or brown shoes? I think black might fit pretty well actually. I think cops have black shoes. It's supposed to be a land whale? Yes, it's supposed to be a land whale. Absolutely. That's what I was going for. Now let me just do these final little details. What do you guys think? Should I shade this one? Should I shade it or keep it unshaded? I don't think it really needs a background. Maybe like a, maybe like a slight background actually, just to kind of show the location that they're like in a mall or something. Is Twitch fucking up? Nah, my Twitch should be stable right now. Yeah, light shade is what I was thinking, I forgot a light shade.
Also, I'm gonna give her like a little LGBTQ thing here. Little rainbow colors, you know. Diversity and all that, that jazz. It's more reggae than gay. Reggae is gay, dude. Sorry to break it to you. Little earring here. Uh, Moto Destructo, thank you for the for the bits, dude. Christmas bits coming in. Rasta, Rasta pasta. Do you think it's that a creepy pasta? There's creepy Rastas. You think that's a real thing? Or did like they read it in like a Rastafarian accent? Hey man, Rastafari. Give this guy some gray hair. What is BLV? Chat hasn't met Roy G. Who's Roy G? What is BLV? I don't even know what you're talking about. There we go, Rastafarian culture. I just make the little earring pink. Should I should have a Nazi symbol on her dress or boots? I don't know, that would be a nice detail. Why would she have a Nazi symbol? She's anti-Nazi. This is as anti-Nazi as you get. They're literally violent against Nazis. Like, that would make no sense. If anything, like the communism logo would make more sense, but I think the communism logo would be pushing it in this case. I would want- I want to do something with the communism thing, but I want to do that in a different comic. And this one, I don't need to add all that into this comic. People like this would never wear that shit, ironically. Never. Oh look, it's Magenta. Hello, hello Magenta. How you doing? We're just finishing up one of these comics here. How long have we been going? We've been going for two hours and thirty minutes already. Holy crap, guys! What is Trap Lincoln here? Yeah, that could actually work. All right, Trap, that could actually work in. It could actually work in the context of this. I might actually put something like that in here. That could definitely work. Magenta, so you were streaming earlier today. What were you streaming? What have you been up to at your stream? Let's focus this song. It's like a synthwave thing.
kind of like it. Kind of digging it. Not going to lie. Alright, looks like the base colors are done. For a tiny game you're doing? Awesome, Magenta. That's that's cool. Always working on interesting projects, aren't you? Not really doing anything as interesting as a game or shit like that, but I'm just having some fun with some uh, some end of the year Christmas theme comics. I'm planning to have um, three uh, three more of these out before the 25th, so kind of got to keep busy with these. Want to get them out in time? What is the 25th? Is that a it is Monday, so... Yeah, it's got a few more updates this week. Yeah, I'm thinking of how to shade this. Probably gonna give it like a bit of a flat shading. Maybe we can add some snow in the background here. <laughs> you think so, Alice? Well, thank you. I mean, it's not looking like anything all that good, but uh. I hope people will kind of get the gist of it and kind of be able to see a bit of the humor in it. A bit of the, the irony in it. A bit of the... Maybe look back at a few things and kind of see the irony in some things that have been going on this year. Good night, Golden Tea. Thanks for checking in. A demonic pretty, I don't do commissions, period. Like, there's, you just, I'm not for hire. Like, I just don't do commissions. There's no starting price, nothing. I'm just not for hire. I, I prefer just not to get into that. I prefer to just do my own thing. And I will lazily copy the snow and paste it over here. Make it a bit smaller. Fill in the blanks. Nobody's worse than X. Oh, you're talking about X? How long have you been drawing for? I mean, in life, in general, or like the stream? The stream has been going on for 2 hours, 30 minutes. bit of a slap thing here. A question mark here, like what the fuck? Yeah, the car. Yeah, let's make the car headlights a bit, bit colorful. Thank you, kill me, baby forty-five. I appreciate the love. Can I get a tryhard? What is a tryhard? I don't get it. What is that tryhard thing you're saying right there? Man, yeah, by the, by the way, I really appreciate all the, the high growth on Twitch lately. I'm, I'm like, sometimes can I look into, like, the channel, like, the follower growth, and it's really cool to see, like, that the growth has been so high lately. If you're new here, feel free to follow the channel. I stream stuff like this a lot, and we I sometimes try to finish, like, the entire comic and stream, or, like, just, like, get most of it done. But sometimes we do more different things, but uh, thanks for checking in. 
Man, I'm getting all fucking water and shit all over myself. Uses SP. What's SP? Merry Christmas to you, Gorla. Santa should be a brown lolly. What does that even mean? Why would Santa be a brown lolly? What the fuck does that mean, Schmutz? Did he make a Chad Thundercock t-shirt? <laughs> Probably not, dude. It's funny, though. Alright, but yeah, for the most part, I'm just gonna, like, then shade this and get all the finishing, polishing touches, and this will be on Chad base real soon. Or, or my Twitter, for those who like prefer Twitter. I'll probably post it, I'll finish it up and probably post it tomorrow. But yeah, I also gotta figure out this new emotes as well, but I'll do that off stream. Maybe I'll make some of them on stream. Gotta keep that content flowing, you know? Keep that content flowing. One of the comics for Christmas is really sexual. Like, it's like, it's borderline pornographic, but it's not. It's just borderline pornographic, but it's not. It's the important part, it's not porn. And for those who haven't seen, here's another little product that you'll be seeing real soon. I like showing this one because it's safe for work, but just, it has such lewd implications. The implications of it are so lewd. They're, they're like really taboo in a weird way. Look how fat their asses are, what the fuck? A bit overboard. I'm gonna stream some of that as well. Albert Abru, thanks for subbing, dude. I'm gonna switch it back to IRL real quick. While we um, wrap up this stream, eh? There we go. Yeah, almost three hours. I'm glad we got it done so fast. Is this Roller Mobster? Uh, let me check what it is. Let me check what it is. It is Luer Vuerte, Emerald Rising. I'll post it in the chat. The name of the song. The name of the song. Oh, someone just sent some bits. Who did I miss? Who did I miss with the bits? Thought I heard some bits here. Did I miss it? Fuck, they, 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 like that ringing played and I fucking missed it. Alice, my eyes are mesmerizing. Well, demonic pretty, thank you. Alice, you can't see my eyes now. I gotta protect my eyes from the smoke. Let's have one more uh, cigarette here before we wrap up. But besides that, are you guys all like out of school and stuff? Or are you like enjoying your holidays? Are you having a nice time off? Are you still forced to work? What are you guys doing with your time off? Still working? Working Christmas? Give school one day before break? Masturbating? They do, I do that every day. Don't forget to raid. Rick, I don't do a raid every time. Sometimes when I do a raid, I feel guilty like I'm, I'm, I'm making, I'm, like I'm, I'm making work for people, making people do stuff. And sometimes I do a raid to someone and they're annoyed. Like they're not, they don't even, they're like annoyed that they're getting attention. It's that they're like, they're annoyed that people are coming into the chat that they don't know. 
I remember doing a raid to like my friends flash kids they're like oh no let's put the chat to followers only mode like you're like annoyed by it like what the fuck You're drawing on holidays? Me too, Alice. Getting some drawing done. Raid a rando? I don't want to raid a rando. If anything, I'll raid my friend Niall. I'll give, give, you guys want to go watch Niall? You guys want to watch Niall instead of me? So I might get some fuel for your Zippo. Zippos are cool. I don't have a Zippo. I'm doing some zo one tan. Is that zone tan or one tan? Is it a new tan? Schmutz. I mean, a trap said that trap. Zone tan fan art is fan art is cool and all, but you know what zone tan fan art is trap? It's generic. Keep that in mind. It's generic. It's cool and all, but generic. Keep that in mind. Put that, put, have that set in your little head here. Like, plant it right in your little mind. Hook Nile up, yeah. Gets views. That's what it's all about, Trop. It's all about the views. Get views. Rick, do you scratch your stream? Yeah, before I wrap up, yeah, Rick, you've been talking about this mod thing on Discord. You want to, like, demod a bunch? You guys want to demod a bunch of people? Inactive people? Yeah, I gotta look into that, man. That's a whole other thing. Yeah, I gotta look into that. I was reading that and it makes sense, but I don't want to offend anybody. No, I'm not saying it's mainstream. Like, look, look, I'm not. Look, guys, I'm not saying drawing that is bad. I'm just saying it's generic. And one of the ways people. Like, it's like, you know, like. Sometimes people will do something to get views that is generic because in their mind that's what they're supposed to do to get views. The problem, the problem, problema with that is that you're getting views like many of other just like you are trying to get views in the same way, thus not standing out. The trick is to get views with something that is unorthodox, unexpected. That's that's the trick. Cause then they'll remember you. You'll be remembered. Exactly, the stream guy official is so on point. It's like all those cosplayers. Let's cosplay Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's popular, that's gonna get you views. But it's generic. Lolly Sniffer 3000? What the fuck is that name, dude? What the fuck is this? Drawing Raven is generic, yes. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta go where the heart leads you. And you know what's not generic? Raven getting fucked by Shodas. That's not generic. I've never I've literally never seen that until I've done it. I've literally never seen anybody else do that.
I did not draw that raven thing for the views. Not at all. Yeah, Beast Boy isn't. Would you be able to host the Discord bot? Which Discord bot are we talking about again? Got which Discord bot we're talking about. Drop for, for a minute, for a minute. Just forget about like, forget about money. Forget about all the views. Forget about like everything. Popularity, anything. Just forget about all of that. And ask yourself. Like it's just you in the dark by yourself. Ask yourself, what does Trop want to draw? What would Trop want to bring to the table? What would Trop want to show? Like, what would Trop want to present? What is it? Do you even know anymore? Do you even fucking know? Hey, Reverend Clown. How's it going, dude? Reverend Clown, I put that Christmas comic up real soon, dude. Yeah, that being said, guys, it's time to wrap this up. I really hope you have a wonderful evening, wonderful holidays, and uh, expect a few more posts, a few more comics before the Christmas rolls around. I'm going to keep very busy. Let me uh, dim the lights here. Damn, that light in the background is still really bright. This made it worse. Okay, no light dimming today. And uh, yeah, I'd say I'm gonna go give my old friend, the guy I talked, uh, for those who were here earlier, I'm gonna give uh, my friend Nile a bit of a raid. Kinda show that I love him. And I'll see you real soon. Those who wanna go say hi to Nile, stick around, and those who don't, I'll see you guys later. Have one more cigarette.